this weekend here in Ramsey. It's now time for pro doubles action in our shootout series. I'm Bernie Neighbors, joined alongside K9, Wally Kassler. Wally, I think my intro was a little better than my outro when we left singles. Nobody Top five worst out it. ever. Nobody even noticed it. <laughs> as long as you don't draw attention to it, nobody yeah. notices. All right, so Jalen and Cedro have made their way here. Sam Finley and Steven Bernisette as well. So while we're waiting on them to show up, let's pull up some brackets and let's take a look at what we got. Bracket time. All right, number one seed, even though they didn't know they won <laughs> in rounders, Jake Krasinski and Ryan Windsor take down the number one seed, teaming up here because Tony Smith has already qualified with Hunter Thorne and Baby Goat not old enough. So there you go. Windsor and Krasinski take the one seed. They're going to take on Steve Schrader and Blake Karnick. Devin Arbaugh and Nika Morales, we just saw take down Noah Wooten and Cameron Velvin. They will now take on Brett and Matt Guy over on court three. Foreman and Creek Killer coming as your four seed with the bye. They're waiting on either Terry Mathis and Daniela Luna or Danny Seals and Yeti Irwan. Hmm. Johnny Altice and Clayton Robertson take on Justin Burton Jr. and Logan Chamberlain. I believe that's my pick for doubles. Going on a ledge there taking JD. Yeah, you're way out on a ledge, man. I can't believe you did that. We'll see what happens. You know, I felt frisky today. <laughs> We got Herrera and Jones defeating the Kufi. They're going to take on the three seeds, Steve Bernisette and Samantha Finley. Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Cano, 15 to seven over Tedder and Peters. And then Tom Walter and Daniel Walker Jr. get a bye as the six seed. Jay Dotson and Gabe Dolan, 17-15 over Troxel and Getty. Batson and King, how about that team? I like that team. Let's see what I want to see DK get some, get some love. We'll see if we can uh, get them on broadcast court next. We got. It seems like we're seeing this match quite a bit as well. Philip Lopez Jr. and Mark Richards taking on Jordan Power and Jay Rubin. Shocking. H how do they always find each other in brackets? We'll see if Jordan Power has learned his lesson about talking about uh, them not wanting to win. Yeah. You're halfway through a match. Let sleeping dogs lie. Let sleeping dogs lie. I like it. And I think they're finishing down and backs here. Love what I see out of Bernadette lately. Yeah. Kind of, kind of found his game again. Great turnaround on the season for him. I mean, it could have been a lot worse. But uh, things are going in the right direction for him now. A lot of, lot of storylines in the ACL this season as far as positivity and turning things around mentally and on the courts as well. Yeah. So many players talking about how important the six inches between your ears are. It's really changed the uh, fortunes of, I mean, Devin Harbaugh being one that's really taken the time to focus on his attitude and his self-talk and how it's changed his game. By the way, El Macano throwing against Sam Finley down here. I love the machine, just back and forth, easy. Easy motion. All, all bags right down the middle so far. Except oh, for that jinx. One. Except for that one. You can go up and get it though. Might come back on its own. Nice, uh, nice to get Sam Finley some love here on, on the streaming court. Hey, appreciate that, Clint. It's always nice to get a positive compliment. The picture is a lot better. Yes. What'd you Shout do? Shout out to Haley Shed. Oh, messaged, Haley came over. He messaged Trey to message us. Well, there you go. To give us some insight on how to fix it. So, good on her. Is Haley uh, back in Rock Hill? I guess. I guess you're not here. I, I told Trey. I said, "Well, tell her to come over and help me fix it." <laughs> He's like, "She's not there." I'm like, "Oh, I don't know. My bad." But I always find it funny. I'm like, you know, she could have just messaged me directly, you know, but why not? Go through my boss. Go ahead. Tell my boss what I did wrong. That's fine. Busted. Yeah. And I appreciate the compliment there, Clint. Um, white balance auto is the answer. White balance okay. auto. Okay. I started watching a man Ooh -ooh. called Auto on the plane. Yeah, was any good? Have you seen that? It's not I bad. Not. It's not bad. I had somebody tell me that I should watch that because it's like uh, it could really help me out. And like so far, half the movies with like about him trying to kill himself and failing. So I'm like, this that's is an good. interesting story though because it's like they he found a family across the street, and you know, he lost his uh, wife or whatever. He found a family across the street that needs some help, so he finds like a reason to live by helping them out. Oh. It's like a good feel good story, there very you emotional. Go. So it's all about the ups and the down, man. Yeah. Or is a uh, they say in training day, all about the smiles and cries. All about the smiles and cries. Yeah, so far so good, though. I'll finish it on the flight back. Only an hour and 50-minute flight for me. 
Yeah, it wasn't that long of a flight for me. About two hours, I think. It's no Portland trip, is what you're saying? Yeah. No need to upgrade to no. first class? Man, I've wasted. I mean, looking back on it, it was a pleasure to be up there. But, man, that was a lot of miles I threw away. <laughs> oh, Cedro let her off the hook. Going to stay 5-0. I think since I have to fly American out to uh, Charlotte for Worlds, I think I'll go first class there. There you go. Step it up. Hey, what up, Eric? Round number four, five zero. Sam got the five on Cedro first round. Like you were saying, Stephen Burnus that we were talking earlier, Jimmy Humans was talking to us about just his the arc on his throw. You know, he lands so deep on the board compared to most players. Mm -hmm. How about this throw? Throwing some sorcerers, so he usually does throw like a faster bag because of that high release. So he's got you know, it's a hybrid carpet, but he's got carpet in his hands. So. Nice airmail from Jalen. Doesn't really matter what you throw if you stay right down the middle like he does. <laughs> like that. Good collect. Let's see, he's a stepper over. Stepper over. I don't know how to say that really. Stepper. Stepper over the liner. I don't know. <laughs> Let's kind of keep an eye on his back foot. Uh oh, see another bag foot. off the back. Chance for another five. That might even be more than that. Uh, I like that. He likes it. I like it. Force him to go board here to give up, what, eight? Who wants to lay up and give up eight? Went for another one. Yikesies. Give That's trouble. Nine. Is that a six point? I think it's nine. Ten four? I don't think he had one in. You oh, did he, he not? Three. He said he had two off the back. Right? Oh, my goodness. It is. It's a six. It's 11 zero. Okay, so one, one must have been in. It's on you. It's on. First airmail went in. Okay. Cedro off to the right again. A little push. A little pushy. Go right through that if you're Sam. She does. I've often, you know, we talk about how some of the women just aren't up to the level yet that they need to be to be competitive in single. But, you know, you look at someone like Sam Finley, like, the game's there. Mm -hmm. Like, you just wonder, like, what is it exactly that's, that's keeping her that, that step? That step down, if you will, because the game's there. I just wonder. I think they just enjoy everyone else succeeding too, maybe. Like we right. maybe need a little extra ounce of competitiveness. A little more know. dog, yeah, a little exactly. more dog. Yeah. Gamesmanship maybe? Yeah. Like can you imagine Sam and Rosie in doubles just hitting an airmail and like and just, what now, punk? Yeah, just just <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> chirping. <laughs> just throw, throw everybody off like their opponent were looking, did that just happen? Did it? So years ago, ended up going to Vegas for the uh, uh, beer pong world championships and that's a game that's a sport where there's a lot of talk it's part of the game right it's all about distraction it's it's all about getting in your opponent's head mm -hmm. and the women that were playing unfair advantage yeah they, they were yeah. doing all kinds of crazy stuff to distract shout out to T nuts beer pong player speaking of distractions <laughs> hey -o. oh airmail show is that Dotson? Oh, that one's deep. Yep, that's Dotson. He's here. No, feel it. There's one. There's a perfect bag. Nice shot. Cedro collects for the three. I love that first airmail drag or big shot of the uh, live feeds where I'm like, now's a good time to turn on a replay right after the shot happens. <laughs> <laughs> Just reminds me of how I'm not doing my job. But. 13 you never three. Run out of footage anyway, you know? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Jalen's having a little on the struggle bus right now. Coming across. It's another bag out of play. See, Jalen's kind of a quiet player himself, too, so it's not like he's needing Cedro to fire him up on the other end or something, you know? Yeah, but it's he's definitely not Cedro's style. He's having a hard time finding it right now. Making it easy on Steven just to stay down the middle. Of course, I say that, and he pulls it a little left. No, he had to block it. Now he can go. He's going to stay in the middle. Just go in with it. Hit it dead center. Go in. No, nope, missed it. Tried to stay on the outside to get two. Didn't work out. Oops. All right, score updates. Lopez, Jr. and Richards up 6-2 to two over Ruben and Power. Dotson and Dolan 14-3 over Caleb Batson and Derek King. Wow. Wow. Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Cano find themselves down to Walker, Jr. and Walter 9-7. 14-6, Chamberlain and Burton Jr. over Altice and Robertson. Seals and Irwan 4-3 over Mathis and Luna. 
Matt Guy and Brett Guy advance over Devin and Nico, 24 to 6. How about that? Windsor and Trzinski up 10 0 over Schrader and Karnick. So Caleb Batson, one of the two best players in the building, uh, what, a week ago, two weeks ago? Mm -hmm. And he's looking at going one and two, basically, after rounders in singles and doubles. And then continuing at the uh, Texas State Championships as well. Yeah. Interesting. You never know. You never know. Pretty good talent pool there in Texas to come out with that one. Steven just staying down the middle in command of his bag. Yeah. A lot of points yeah, coming on this end. Frustrated. Yeah. Well, gave it back. V blocked himself. There's another airmail gone. Jalen just can't find it. And Burgess had found the push that time. Thinking about what he missed, but he still will come out of that round ahead. 16 to 4. Shout out to Mr. Anderson over there rocking the Kill Shot K9 collab team jersey. The thing is bright. The, Where? The teal over there by Jordan Power. It's like a bright. Am I looking blue. across? Yeah, right over that way. It's like a teal. I got you. Dark. Yep. Yeah, yep. Looks good. I got mine. I haven't worn it yet. I'm saving it for a show. So you like wearing jerseys? Um, they hide the fat better. Yeah. <laughs> Great airmail, Sam. <laughs> a little baggier. I was uh, moving the clothes, you know, from Kansas City to St. Louis, and I found my ACL. Yeah. Shirt, they're lar size large. I'm like, I could probably pull it off, <laughs> but I know I'd be uncomfortable. So like, we'll, we'll wait a little bit. I'll probably break. And when you over. can feel it right here, yeah. you start to. You, you Especially after you eat. Oh god, That's right. That's the worst. Yeah. Because then you have to suck in, but you're uncomfortable. It's just, yeah. it's just too much. Just too much. Yeah, I, I figure I should have crazy abs as much as I'm trying to suck in as I'm walking around. Yeah. <laughs> That's what my ex-girlfriend told me. She's like, I could either work out or I could suck in. I chose to suck in. <laughs> All right. Well, last side, round. It doesn't matter. Yep. And one for spite. <laughs> no. no. Not, not from Burns. No. He's just going to play it straight. How about and one yourself? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, for spite. <laughs> yeah, that would definitely be spiteful. Well, that was quick work from Stephen Bernisette, Sam Finley. Doing work, moving on past Isidro and Jalen. But we're going to come back. More pro doubles action here, Ramsey, Minnesota, right after this.
Greetings, ACL Nation, from the Adrenaline Sports Center, Ramsey, Minnesota, shootout number six, pro doubles action. We're actually awaiting on a match here. I'm Bernie Neighbors, joined alongside the K9, Mr. Wally Kassler. Wally, what are, you, what are you feeling right now after we've had a couple matches? We're a couple matches into this bracket. What, who, who are you liking? I feel like this is actually spread out. Like, I feel like all the quadrants have like one elite team. Let's right. see if they can come out of it. This one does have two. You got Brad Guy and Matt Guy waiting for the winner of that match there on court nine. You can see Windsor and Trzinski in the lead 12 to 4. Bottom half, you know, I'd have to tip my cap to uh, Justin Burton Jr. and Logan Chamberlain. They're up 19 to 8 over mm. Connie Altais and Clayton. Terry Mathis and Daniela Luna finished that one off 8 to 7 over Danny Seals and Yeti. Wow. Ruan. Pull it out in the last round. Yeah, so they're going to take on Foreman and Creek Killer. Other side of the bracket, you know, we got Bernisette and Finley right there, but. Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Connell in a little bit of trouble. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. 15 and 12 there to Tom Walter and uh, Daniel Walker Jr. And then uh, Dotson and Gabe Dolan over at Caleb Batson and Derek King. But then you got Philip Lopez Jr. and Mark Richards in the top tie. How about that? Match on court four. So. Surprised we can't hear that match. It's directly across from us. Can't hear it, but we could see it. Mm hmm. Let's do that. A little timeout actually taking place. They're gonna, Mark's gonna come down and look at it. JBJ and Logan just finished off their match. See them talking about it. Dangerous Dan and Yeti still talking about how they let that match get away. You can see them right there in between those two matches. The agony. Jordan Powers walked down. Oh, now got to run back. Timeout's over. Matthew Creekiller in the house. Got a match here assigned, ready to go. It's going to be Mathis and Luna taking on Foreman and Creekiller. They've made their way to court one. Ah, good bag there. Ruben still has a chance. Well, they still both got, Ruben still got two bags left. There's a lot of points left to be had in that round. Got our down and backs here. Got Terry Mathis, Daniela Luna, Jacob Foreman, Matthew Creek Killer. We got some time as Wally heads to the bathroom, bringing on the professor, Anthony Ione's going to join what's up, what's me. What's up? What do we got here? Uh, we got Burn, uh, what am I walking we got, into? We got Mathis and Luna getting ready to throw down against Foreman and Creek Killer. Mathis and Luna. Yeah. They, okay. They just took down in the last round, got past Danny Seals and Yeti Irwan. Terry was able to get some points there against Danny, win that match in the last round. Congratulations. Well done. Now you get Jacob Foreman, Matthew Creek Killer. The winner of this match plays JBJ and Logan Chamberlain. Yikes. Yeah, so have some fun there. We'll continue to do our down and backs. Can't see exactly what happened. We, I don't know if it's over there between Richards and Lopez Jr., Ruben and Power. Didn't see quite who got that win. Don't think they've entered it yet, but that went down to the last, last round all tied, so I'm not sure who got that one. Let's see. See if I can find it. Can't find it. Can't find it. Ah, Mark Mark Richards gets a five spot in the last round to win that match. So they advance on to play Jay Dotson and Gabe Dolan. Nice. Who just took down Caleb Batson and Derek King 15-14. So nice win for those two guys. We saw Bernisette and Finley. They got past Isidro and Jalen. They await the winner of Fisher Hamilton, Gavin Cano, Tom Walter, Daniel, Daniel Walker Jr. Fisher and Gavin just went up 16-15. I don't, yeah, that, that just ended. So I think they won their match in the last round. So crazy stuff happening in pro doubles, Professor. So Terry Mathis and Daniela Luna, not committed pro partners, but we see in this shootout format, right? We see a lot of players mixing it up. Not yep. everybody can make every one of these trips. Yep. So Terry Mathis uh, actually teamed up with Derek Singleton, I believe, for yep. the year. And um, Luna with Greg Collins, I believe. So mixing yep. it up here at shootout six. <clears throat> yeah, like you said, going to have their hands full with yeah. Foreman and yeah. Creek Killer. And two distinctly different styles, right? It's going to be a little bit dirty from Jacob and Matthew. Even though Matthew kind of throws more of a slide game but can play dirty, Jacob's going to block all the time, right? 100%. First, <laughs> first bag block, and then it's a roll shoot. <clears throat> Not even necessarily, uh, you know, and we're playing pretty slick conditions here in the building, so speed-wise, really fast right now. Um, you know, everybody's moving to their slower-ish bag, so even if we're not going to get the blocks, we're going to see a, a definite discrepancy 
in how deep their bag is, how many shots that they have. You know, a, yep. a Mathis Luna, they're going to be down the middle with an airmail, down <laughs> the middle with an airmail. <laughs> yeah. Foreman and Creek Killer are going to be able to have more options in their shots, you know, pull off some more complex stuff. Um, so it really just depends on how it plays out. Sometimes down the middle and the airmail wins. Right. You know, so it just, it just depends on what, what, uh, how the game shapes out. So what do you think, Anthony? I've actually haven't had a chance to talk to you about this. Obviously, at the beginning of the season, not to put you on the spot, but you talked about this was going to be the year of the dirty game, right? This was going to be yeah. that style. But what you see is, like a Tony Smith, for example, saying, you know what, I'm going to put more bags in the hole, and when I need to, I've got all this game to throw at you, but I'm going to put bags in the hole. I kind of like that. It's like picking... Pick and choose your spots to go get points the dirty way, if that makes sense. But you still got to put bags in the hole at some point. Yeah, beginning of the year, we were actually talking about this is going to be the year of the carpet bag. There That's kind of where the argument was. Yep. And, you know, I was all about that. And look at who's at the top. I mean, you know, you look at your your Burton Juniors and your Chamberlains and your Hamiltons winning uh, winning nationals. Yep. Um, you know, Kano is going to be in the shootout on TV tonight. Yep. Look at our TV appearance tonight. Shootout six. Our finals is going to be Jimmy Humans throwing the aftermath carpet yep. and Gavin Kano throwing the BG carpet. So to me, I think that this did live up to be the year of the carpet bag. But I think it goes deeper than that. Yeah, um, for sure. You know, I think we were just trying to categorize and define in our minds. We were saying year of the carpet bag bag meant we were going to be playing a more speed controlled, you know, ability to score in traffic style game. And that's exactly what this year has been. Yep. You know, just because you don't have a carpet game doesn't mean you can't play a speed control game. Doesn't mean you can't roll bags. I mean, look what Tony Smith is doing, you yeah. know, with the convicts. Yeah. So uh, Mark Richards has really perfected the ability to control speed. He's not going to necessarily go into the hole in an open hole. He might drip the front. He might sit at that level one. The, yep. the, what's been the, the topic of conversation this year? Level one blocks, stay in deep so you can collect. To me, that is what we were talking about yeah. when we said here the carpet bag. I'm with you. I'm with you. I just like the fact that to make a baseball analogy, some of the better players that we've seen rise to the top this year are five tool players. 100%. They can play any style you want to play. They're not stuck in one one route, I, I think, and I don't want to put anyone on the spot, but you look at someone like an Eric Davis still playing his way, right? But it's it's that one way of playing. I think He's he, unique. we got to throw him out. He's that one data point that you throw out in an experiment. <laughs> <laughs> but I think if he, like, it, I think the moment he decides, I'm going to start filling it up, and then out of nowhere I'm going to block you, and yeah. then I'm going to try to steal points from you, I think then he becomes, once again, one of the most talented players in the game. 100%. I think that's what makes Justin Burton Jr. so good is he's going he's gonna to throw 30 in a row on you. And then all of a sudden, right here comes this, this level one block, and he's making you think, and he's making you adjust. He's, he's going to force you to make decisions you may not want to make. Yeah. yeah. I think the factor is, is less of the ability to block and play off a block, more of the ability to go in and collect and clean up the board with complex shots. I mean, I got the top 10 in front of me right now. Let me go through them. Devin Harbaugh, he has the ability to cut. He's got an insane <laughs> cut bag. He's throwing this board Can collect carpet. from almost anywhere on the board. from anywhere. Yeah. Mark Richards, the ability, he added a roll bag to his game. He can now collect off of the right side as a lefty, which is really hard to do. Alan Rawls, he's throwing what we wouldn't call a, a carpet bag. It's not a carpet bag at all, but he has the ability. Most people don't know how good he is at speed control. You know when we say better there than in? Right, right. Alan Rawls is so good at sticking the bag right there. 100%. You know, even though the hole's wide open, he's going, you know, my bag's better there yeah. than in. I mean, and it's, what I love about it is it just makes people think a little bit. And it's amazing how sometimes, like, you can lull people to sleep. You've both, you've both gone 12 bags in a row, and then all of a sudden your brain has to adjust because they're making you think. Yep. Even if it's like you're saying Alan Rawls is putting it where Mark Richards is just dripping it in the hole, that should be still a fairly simple shot for a pro, but the fact that you've made their brain all of a sudden get out of this <laughs> throwing you know, every bag in, I, I, I love the way players are doing that now. No doubt. Yeah, and then the next three, you got tied at number three, Batson, then it goes Burton Jr., and then it goes Gore. We already know what those guys are all about. They're a classic carpetbag style game. Uh, ability with, to do all the shots. Joe Neistead, another one of those players that's not considered a, he doesn't throw a carpet bag, but he has Variety. all of the yeah. shots. Yeah. Nobody knows how, it, I shouldn't say nobody. Joe Kay's got an insane roll bag. Yeah. Joe Kay has the ability to throw a reverse cut. Joe Kay has a good airmail to back it up. A slick side, comf comforts flipping over to the slick side. Uh, is also another piece of that. So, and if you go down the list of the top 10, all those players have all of those shots. Yep. Don't you feel like it's time, and you know, obviously I've got Devin number one in my power rankings that we do on Borderline, 
But don't you think it's time, and not to put pressure on them or put them on the spot, but it's time for Devin and Joe Kay and a couple other players to win. You know, we it's see hard. them. It, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's hard to win. It, it's super hard to win, but I think that's what separates certain players is their ability that when it gets tight like that, they find a way to win. And I, and I think it's time for those guys to take that next step. Yeah, I agree. Those guys are a little unique in that they're always right there. Always right you know, there. Always right there. And I, and but don't you feel like with Devin and, and actually Joe Kay in the same way, like once they get that one win, that it might be a number of wins. Sure. That come yeah, after like that open one. the floodgates. Yeah, kind of one, thing. Once, they, once they realize that they know they can do it, then that changes everything. Not to be golf analogy guy for you, but you know I'm a nerd that way. Phil Mickelson. Couldn't win a major, couldn't win a major. Also, he's playing in Tiger's era. But then he wins one, he ends up winning seven. Bam, yeah. You know, so it, it just, you, you, have to, you have to know you can do it instead of believe you can do it. That thought process makes a kid like Hamilton scary. Right. Because he just got his first one out of right. the way. If that actually takes, and we all saw how he did on his first team's event, I thought the kid was going to pass out. He was like white face <laughs> nervous. But he looked so damn good in yep. singles at the last Nationals. So with that win out of the way, Watch out. I, I know. think Hamilton might be a beast. Caleb Batson is another person that once they got the doubles win with Eddie Grindersleeve, does that make him feel better now? He like he kept walking around after it was over saying, finally, 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 you know. And it's just a mindset, right? right. Like, what, like, I, like there's one thing to believe you can do it. It's a completely different thing to know you can do it. A hundred percent. This was closer than I thought. I mean, am I looking at? We're looking at a four-zero score after seven rounds. Yeah. I mean, not anymore. They've been well. Five, five-zero. Anything can happen. Yeah. You know? One bad round changes everything. Shout out real quick to Dave Sutton for covering me. I'm back. Dave, place, Dave, so. Dave was Dave was flipping it up. We just the, off? the professor's doing real work over here. He's hopping up. Thank, <laughs> thank you, Anthony. Yeah, I uh, hey, I had my Jeff Goldblum uh, Jurassic Park moment, right? <laughs> <laughs> it happens. It happens. Well, so here we go. Anthony just left, but now Terry Mathis has a chance to get right back in this game, staring at four if he can just complete it. Got a few people asking about the uh, stamp on these bags, the throwdown bags from last year. Uh, I believe it's the same rule as everything else. You've got to get called out on it. Like, I believe a creek killer informed me where to say something about it, and then I think they might be last year's stamp bags. But, but I believe you have to say it before the match before starts. Before the match, 100%. Terry knows he's giving points away there. Just go in here, get your two. Yeah. And he will, and he knows that's, yeah, it should have been four. He just says it out loud, should have been four. But as is, makes it 5 2, going into round number nine. See if Daniela can take advantage now that she's got first bag. Yeah. And again, I, I don't even know the rule. He might be allowed to throw them. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what that rule is. Yeah. Not a ruleologist, okay? I'm not, I, I'm not a rule follower. Yeah, that's a good point, too. <laughs> Next match has been assigned. After this, we're going to get Windsor Trzinski, guy, guy. Okay. Okay. I like it. Good bag. Over on court four, we got Hamilton and Cano up four to two over Bernasette and Finley. Lopez and Richards were able to finish off Ruben and Power. Yeah. They are down right now six to two, though, to Dotson and Dolan. Dotson and Dolan are feeling it. That's a good bag. Couldn't, go, couldn't get all the way through there for Daniela. That's something in the women's game that needs to be the next step up is the speed mm -hmm. of the bag and the ability to get through other bags. Push-ups. Yep. Well, Cheyenne is really the only one that can go through bags right now yeah. consistently. Well, we talked about uh, the, this with uh, Frank Maudlin when we interviewed him on our show that he said, I'm really worried that if they and take they away the step over line, you're going to lose out on some of these great shots because a lot of the wow moments do happen whenever a player kind of puts everything into that shot. And That's a good point. Sometimes comes over the line. So we'll see how that actually factors in. That's a good point. But she's got one point here, right? But yeah, well she's, yeah, but you saw in her last bag, you know, she tried yeah. to put extra oomph into it and land yep. it deeper on the board, and she doesn't have the pace. It bounces off and goes off. And that's... That is an issue with some of the ladies. They just don't have the power, even though it's only a one-pound bag from 27 feet. All right, five to three, round 10. Still there. Anybody's game. Terry doesn't care. He's coming out in boots. He yeah. just doesn't care. He don't care. He's OG. Completely.
Matthews just like, hey, man, all I got to do is throw four backers. Mm -hmm. You can't That's catch it. me if you're not going to force me to do something. Yeah, Wash is a win at this point for yeah. them. Final four bags here for Foreman. If you're Daniela, do you try to throw a block or you want to slide all four and just get your, get your 12 and put it down to the other end? Well, it's an opportunity. It's a little bit left. Great bag. Yeah, we saw on the broadcast. Uh, oh, my you know, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Deep breath from Daniela. She knows she's staring at five as she handles her business in a lead change. I was just going to say, we saw in the last broadcast in Portland, the team's event, Daniela Luna's not afraid to close out games. No. Terry Mathis looks like he might be afraid. He's stepping off the line. He's, He's pumped, man. He <laughs> wants the bags. And another one off. She's got a chance for seven here. No, nah, you got to and one that. <laughs> Call him out. <laughs> oh, she is. I don't, I don't know if you need it. I don't Slide think she's it in. Actually, I don't think she's actually going for that. <laughs> I've seen Danielle. It was with deep. That, I've seen her with that same exact miss before. She holds on to it a little bit too yeah, long. <laughs> it's a lead change, though. Give her five, and all of a sudden, 5-0 turns into 8-5 oh, going into the last round. <laughs> That's Stephen Ochoa in the chat saying, and one. You got Trevor Kufis behind me saying, <laughs> and, and one. one. Yeah. She almost accidentally and one. <laughs> that would have been amazing. Oh, man. Here we go, though. Eight Terry, to five. Four Terry. bagger wins it for Terry Mathis, who's going to be down the middle. I don't know if that block's going to be in the right spot. He's just going to go right around that. Well, that's a little better. In behind. He's going to have to do that short air mail, though. Really nothing Terry yep. needs to do. Pretty bag there. Yeah. Creek killer's got to be the one to collect here. Yep. Staying sticky side. Well, I don't think it's that might bad, be it. Though. It's not bad, but it, it's going to be tough. because You want to call a timeout and do some math here real quick. Make sure you're on the same page of what you want to do. Just slide through it. There you go, there just you go. like yep. that. Yep, that's the right call. So now he's got to collect everything. And knock him off the board. <laughs> yeah. And that's going to be it. How about that comeback? Daniela Luna and Terry Mathis down 5-0 going into round number 10. Or round 11. Going into round 11, down 5 nothing. get 8 points, no, 10 points in the last two rounds to take to victory and move on to face Justin Burton Jr. and Logan Chamberlain. All right, boys and girls, more pro doubles action from Ramsey, Minnesota, right after this. ACL Nation, we are back. 
Once again, we are in Ramsey, Minnesota, just outside of Minneapolis. Shootout number six. It's pro doubles action here on court number one. As we get through this pro doubles bracket, I am Bernie Neighbors, joined alongside the K-9, Wally Kassler. Wally, got some interesting matchups now as we get deep in the bracket. Yeah, down to the final eight teams. Windsor Trzinski pairing up for this one for the first time, I believe. Taking on Matt and Brett, not their first time. No, no, they've, they've played a few, few times together. Madison. And ro rocking their own shoes, by the way. If you're rocking your own shoes, you gotta feel like you're gonna win. You gotta feel confident, that's yeah. for sure. Mathis and Luna teaming up for the first time. They're taking on JBJ and Logan over on court 10. Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Cano finish off uh, Bernasette and Finley. And then uh, Jay Dotson and Gabe Dolan now losing mm. to Philip Lopez Jr. and Mark Richards 15 to 10. So kind of the usual suspects. Yeah, always is. There's usually one or two that sneaks in on you. How about Daniela Luna and Terry Mathis? Yeah, especially going back to that game against Danny and Yeti. She didn't even know she won. Yeah, didn't know they won that one. And then down 5-0 going into round number 11. Get 10 points in the last two rounds to take uh, down Matthew Creek Killer and Jacob Foreman. And Daniela Luna getting a five spot in round 11 to get the lead change there. Huge. Daniela's clutch. Or I guess it was 5-3 going into round 11, but at one point it was 5-0. Back to start things off here for Brett is in. Strongest calves in the game, Ryan Windsor. Whoa. The way he's always up on his tiptoes when he releases. I don't know about strongest. I just, man, that's just got it. That's uh, doing that, that all day, that day after day. Is one I cannot do whenever I roll from my heel to my toe. It just shoots a pain all the way up to my knee because of the. <laughs> Sure. The broken bone I got hit by the truck, and it's, it just pains me. Yeah. Him and Fisher Hamilton is the other one. Just watching their throw just pains me because Fisher's leg is the way he's double jointed. Yeah. Yeah. The the hyper extension of the knee when he when he bends all the way down. That's yeah, so kind of one of the hot topics right now is you know this uh, potential rule next season. Technically, Windsor has a violation by stepping both feet over the line. Now you know. Interesting. So let's see if he's one of these players that has to make an adjustment or how things play themselves out. I just. It's going to be interesting, man. I, you know, but looking at his throw, well, I think he could make that adjustment. I don't think it would be a crazy change for him. Yeah, but it, it's weird, though, because the rule that's going to be put in place has nothing to do with Windsor. And it like he barely steps over. He right. stays in right. his lane. Right. And it might affect him. You right. know what I mean? That's, that's crazy. Could he back up a few inches? Does that change everything for him? I don't know. I mean, we hear these pros all the time. Players like Jimmy Humans just complaining for no reason over a half of an inch. So, <laughs> I mean, if, it, if Windsor has to take a step back, you know, what, yeah. because he's stepping over the line now, that might affect him. That's a good point. All players are going to have to adjust, though. There's a saying, good players adjust. <laughs> I definitely consider, definitely consider him a good player. <laughs> Jacob trying to get some points back down 5-0. Matt said, don't nice. call the cops yet. We'll stay up 5-0. Yeah, see what you're doing there. Like that? But Jacob will take two. Put him on the ball. Good collect here from Matt down in the round, chasing some points. Weird, he threw an airmail drag there. Crazy. First time. First time for everything. Yep. go. It's not their first rodeo either. Landon Lang and Chase Frieden from the KC area. There you go. Taking down high school doubles. Congrats on them. Chase Frieden's another young name and yeah. just had some dominant, dominant matches and people are like, like Jordan Power, I think when Kansas City came up to you whenever he was helping us commentate, he said, I have no idea who this was. Chase Frieden? <laughs> and he was like, he gave me everything I had, man. And like, that, that's the name. I'm telling you, it happens all the time. We saw it happen last year at Worlds, I believe, defeated I think it was Tyler Poitras. So, I mean, young kids got some talent. Young kids have talent, and they have the time yeah, you know, that, that some of the adults don't goat. have. 28 rounds of baby goat just to barely lose that one. So. By the way, I'm looking across the, uh, the arena here, and I see Jacob Foreman explaining to his mom what happened. Like, I just, I don't know what happened. The bag was short. It's just, oh, way over there? <laughs> yeah, by the door. I just don't know what went wrong. I do got to say, I like the clean-cut version of Jake uh, Krasinski better. Yeah? Yeah. 
he let his hair get a little long for a while there. And it's tough for red-haired guys that are mm -hmm. paler skin. Mm, came across, not happy with it. If I'm not mistaken, Ooh, at the last national, wasn't it Jacob throwing against Matt when in the semifinals? When it was Matt and Jamie going against uh, Tony and Jacob? Oh, uh, on, the, on they were on on the same end. I believe so. Yeah. There was a little chatter there. And didn't you and I talk about this? That like it seems like everyone like tries to chirp at Matt Guy. I mean, that's the thing. He's like you get. <laughs> <laughs> Players like Matt and Guy, and even when you're starting to see now with Mark Richards, everyone's best game. Yeah. And you're getting everyone's best game there. And, you know, if you got to have to chirp to get a little bit of an advantage, kind of bring it even, why not? Why not? Right. It was great. I think he loves it. Him and Logan had some fun with it. Sure. Great bag. Good shot there from Windsor. Got to get a roll shot, highlight, check. <laughs> put, that on, put that on your bingo card. That's what we should do, man. We should do Oh, that. yeah, should cornhole bingo. Unit bingo. There it is. I like it. Winner gets $1,000. Ooh, sits on top. Bernie's paycheck. Right, yeah. That would be all of it. <laughs> Time out. Ryan's going to go take a look at it. It's kind of a deep roll, though. It's so much easier when I'm just like, So as soon as that bag laid on top, Ryan did not like the look of it. talking to Curtis uh, the other day about some of the things that the TriCaster can do. And he says there's like another model up that we can, I told him all the ideas and stuff I want to do. He said there's one more model up from the TriCaster where we can do basically everything ESPN style production right here. I'm like, that sounds awesome and very troubling at the same time with all the work I'm going to have to do. Yeah, to learn it. But uh, who knows? Well, if you already know most of what the TriCaster, I mean, I would imagine it would be similar. Oh, going up. Well, that works. A little twofer. Is oh, that a wash there? Hey, wash is a win. Wash is a win. But yeah, um, I do think that if we stay with the same equipment, I'd probably like to do some in-person training or something like from these people. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It'd be kind of cool. Jacob, another player that's made a giant leap forward this season, I think. And he's got such a pronounced right to left shot. Yep. And so you wonder, like, sometimes when you have to go get, try to get other style, other cuts, other shots, but he's still able to do it even with that heavy right to left. That worked. No, it doesn't. Any way to use the game, I've done. Just like that, he flattened the bag out a little bit. opposite of me. Like, like, he's throwing with his arm over the board in a situation has a hard right to left. I have a hard left to right, and I cannot get any movement out of my bag like he does, but uh, got lucky. That guy in for points, though. I would imagine this is just a straight slide collect, old school. In theory. Oh, my goodness. Gave it back to him. Stealing money there if you're Jacob Trzinski. Jake and Matt both yelling. Yep. No! <laughs> All right, next match has been assigned. Philip Lopez Jr. and Mark Richards against Fisher, Hamilton, and Gavin Cano. That's a pretty good match, huh? goes to broadcast. Justin Burton Jr. and Logan Chamberlain up 11-0 over Terry Mathis and Danielle Luna. Yeah. Winner, that one plays the winner of this one. They've just got too many shots for them, I think. Too much variety. Double clutch here from Windsor. Round number seven, five to three. Good job. Not afraid to double clutch, Ryan. Light bully. It's uh. amazing how many times he double clutches yeah. and then hits the shot. Yep. I, like there it is again. I wonder if it's just like it just feels a little wrong in his hands before he lets it go. See, that's what I thought, and I asked him about it. And he says no. Sometimes things just catch out of the corner of my eye. Huh. And I'm like, it doesn't look like your eyes oh, there's another focus one. goes somewhere else. So I feel like it's got to be a grip thing. It has to. Oh. He wanted to cut around it, let it go too far, chance for three, and it is. Big shot, Lee Chang. No, 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 it makes it 8-3. Eight, eight, 
Whoopsie. Up five. Round number eight. <laughs> Jacob wouldn't give Matt the bag that was on his side, sitting on the ground. Kind of just stayed there, didn't help him out at all. Gamesmanship. A little gamesmanship. Got a little smirk out of Jacob. Probably not going to affect anything. Well, there's that right to left cut, just working Arm, against him. Yep. Arm my back. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> yep. No need to be a jerk. <laughs> I don't know if it's necessarily being a jerk. It I just know. wasn't being a gentleman. No, exactly. Now it's a baseball. How about that? Matt guy blocking. I told you. It's crazy days. I told you he'd step his game up if he started doing it. Yep. Crazy days. There's a little, ooh, the rut didn't work. It's almost like it got stuck on its side. Kind of shark finned around the hole. Well, didn't like that one. Asking if he should go up. I think he just came across it. I think he just pulled it. Yeah. I couldn't see what Matt said. I couldn't say if he wanted to roll or uh -oh. he needed to go. I couldn't tell. Either way, three, I believe. Another three. Yep. 11 3, round number nine. Getting kind of late now. Got to force the issue. Yeah, Wins are Trusinski again. We're the number one seed coming out of rounders. They are against the ropes right now to the eight seed, Matt and Brett Guy. Oh, is Samantha Finley the only person from Florida that made it? I don't know. That's a very good question. Yeah. Though, with all the storms and everything? Yeah, I can't think of anyone else that's from Florida. I guess Fisher, but he was already in already, the world, I believe. Yeah. Coming in hot. Yep. Didn't even get any movement on yep. that bag on the hole. Came across it a little bit. Just in behind. I think it fell. I don't think so. I can't tell. I don't think so. Matt doesn't look like it fell. No, there's nothing there. Yeah, he was trying to get that to roll over. It did not happen. Is that a 4 4 wash? Matt's no, there was one two. bag in. Brett had one in. Yep. 13 3, round number 10. Matt just staring at the moment of meditation. Yeah, headbutting the curtain. <laughs> Come on. Hmm. We got a leaner. It's a leaner. More than likely going to go. There it there goes. goes. That's going to go. Hmm. I like that placement. If you're going to make it, yep. you have to force it yourself. Like that? He does hit it. Good shot. I mean, Jake did what he needed to do. Matt did what he needed to do. Pushed right through it. Finishes off his 12. Oh, that looked deep out of his hand. You could tell it was deep on the board. Frustration air mill there. Yeah. Huh. Two rounds remain, 12-point game. Got to feel like the guys are moving on here, unless there's just a horrific collapse. JBJ and Logan finish it off 28 to nothing over Terry Mathis and Daniela Luna. So it looks like the guys will take them on to see who gets broadcast. Be a heck of a match, because you know you're going to get Logan and Matt chirping at each other. One of these... Uh, one of these new rivalries. I say yeah, a lot of rivalries popping up this season. Little too little, little too late. Make it 15-5 going into the last round. This is last round. Last round. <laughs> 15 to 5 on that collect good shot. <laughs> Oh, you, gotta, you gotta love it. Yeah. Guys, little, shout down last round. Matt's like, I can't hear that. Matt's, Matt goes four on the board wins. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Well, it's over. It's over. Do it. It'll do it. Sets up Logan Chamberlain, Justin Burton Jr. taking on the guys. Uh oh. <laughs> 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 How often does Brett get that chance to fire down to Matt? Yeah. Stop talking, put him in. There. Come on. There it is. <laughs> Game over there. Oh, man. 
Could you imagine? Yeah. Could you imagine? It? And that will do it. So Matt and Brett Guy move on, and they will take on Justin Burton Jr. and Logan Chamberlain to make it to the broadcast. We're, we're going to have that match when we come back here, Ramsey, Minnesota, right after this. What is up, ACL Nation? Once again, we are back. Ramsey, Minnesota, it's Pro Doubles, and we have our first match to go to the broadcast. I was wrong when we went out saying which match would be next. We've actually got Mark Richards, Philip Lopez Jr. with Gavin Cano and Fisher, Ham Fisher Hamilton. Gavin Cano trying to do the double this weekend. He's already in the singles final, trying to make his way to the doubles final. Great storylines. It's going to make the jobs for the announcers tonight on the broadcast pretty easy. <laughs> Have plenty to talk about. Talking to Bernisette behind you here, he said, tell me this isn't to go to broadcast. I said, yeah. He's like, come on. <laughs> so close. He wanted it. That's a sneaky good pairing, though, isn't it? Finley and Bernisette? I thought out so. Out of nowhere. Just kind of like, huh. Let's go. So they're going to go down and back twice. In case you're wondering why I'm standing, I'm trying to be a gentleman. Oh, yeah? Give the ladies my chair. Wow, you're such a nice they, guy. They you want your chair? No, they asked for a, another chair, and I said, here, take my chair. And then they're like, no, we're not going to take your chair. And I said, well, here, I don't need a chair. I said, I'm going to stand right here regardless. So I said, here you go, ladies, take the chair. And they're not <laughs> taking the chair. So now you got to take it back. Mm -hmm. Don't don't give Jenna a chair. Jenna doesn't need she, a chair down there. One. That's what that's what happens in this world nowadays. Can't can't be a gentleman. Can't even be a gentleman these days. I believe these bags are live, Wally. That's it. Game time. Let's go. I'm not gonna lie, man. Standing up is actually kind of a nice refresher. Yeah. Feel now good. That, now that we got uh, these headsets. It's fun. Like, yeah, it's funny now that you're doing it because I'm thinking about standing up <laughs> with it. Yeah. Got to do it now that you're doing it. I'm a copycat. Row bag doesn't have enough to go over. You'll be able to see the TV from there? Yeah. Yeah. Now we're standing up. Zeros. Don't even know what's going on. Zero. Well, nothing happened. Jimmy Eumann's lost his bags. He has no idea where they are. He's causing all kinds of trouble. Does EZ have them? There's some underneath the table down here. These are mine. Oh. Next to the corn. Jimmy, Eric have them? Say Zockline might have him. He's been trying to practice with him. Now Two he's nothing. Find easy. 
Richards and Lopez. All right, so we're down to the final few teams here, Bernie. You ask me all the time. I'm going to ask you, who do you like? It, I mean, it's so tough. I mean, you got Justin Burton Jr. standing next to us. I mean, how do you pull? Again? How do you? How do you think they're not going to win with the role they're on this season? Yeah, that's my. I pick, mean, so. Richards Lopez. I mean, you got Gavin Cano going for the double if they can win this game. So, it's it's tough. It's a tough call. I don't think you can go wrong with a call. It's a coin flip at this point with the talent. I mean, how about that though? We're six shootouts in. Kano and Hamilton looking to make broadcast for the third time. Pretty impressive. It's fifty percent burn. They've they've got this uh, they've got this figured out. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. That's <laughs> well, I think the more times you give yourself the opportunity, right? Oh wow. Doesn't get it on that slick side. So angry. But it's like okay, it's like very impressive to make it back through these fields three times. Right. Not impressive to lose three times. Well, it, I mean, <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, it's tough. You know what I mean? So it's like it's got to be in the back of their head, though. But Fisher Hamilton did get over that hump at the last one. <laughs> Such a gentleman yeah, as he's seizing. Yeah, it's it's hard to pull through this. You know, uh, this you know it's carpet. contagious. Now we got Anthony standing up. Everybody's right standing now. up. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to give you guys a cheer. Get, give her the <laughs> give her the headset. Let's see if she actually has any yeah. any guts to talk. Hold, hold on right a second. Oh, right oh yeah, here we go. I'm actually surprised. We she had put a it on. guest. Now she's got to talk. A guest announcer now with a microphone. You can't can't say you're not talking now. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. It's me. It's me. Like, like Adele. Content team. Content team has made it to the broadcast. So what uh, what fun have y'all had today on the... F um, what have y'all been making them do for, for TikTok? Good collect. Or good shot right there. Sorry. Put a sad face filter on people. <laughs> sad face? It's posted. You can go watch it. Where do they go watch it? Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Any of the three. Do you know the handles? Do you have them memorized? American for instant American Court Holy handles. Just, there you go. <laughs> just look for us, American Court Holy. So, all, so Gavin able to get a four spot there, tied up, tied at four, round number four. You know, we're missing some overtime. We need some overtime here. Yeah, we haven't had one. We haven't had one yet. We need it. Roll back coming. Ooh, doesn't Ooh. get over. Flat tie you. So Amanda, what do we got to do to get you Amanda, some bags? Does, don't you think it's a little different once you have the headset on and the microphone? All of a sudden, you feel like every word matters. Yeah, I'm actually listening. <laughs> I, I, I saw that you. Uh, Time out. You're gonna start playing co-ed at Worlds. Is that right? I am. I saw on Facebook. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you and Trzinski yeah, team up. Yeah. Duh. Duh. Do you throw at HQ? Uh, only when I'm alone. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing what you can do when you're alone at the HQ. Oh. Do, <laughs> it can get very boring. Very quiet. It starts quiet. to echo in there. Uh oh, oh yeah. Jenna wants a piece of the action. Jenna, come on. I think I'm going to take a two week stint out there for Worlds. I'm going to get out there early, hang out with my brother in Columbia, oh, and then. Uh, hold on a second, Wally. Okay, holding on. Oh, gotta, I don't know if that'll reach. You got the cord there. But, yeah, I'm going to try and make a two-week stint at Worlds, uh, hang out with my brother in Columbia, and then finish the drive down to HQ. Hang out there for a little bit. I know a, I know a bartender, so I should believe a free drink. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't know anything about but free drinks. Don't worry, your boss ain't watching. It's fine. Everything is fine. Ooh, big shot there from Fisher. He wanted the other one to go with it. Take a time out to look at it. Mark says no. He's got an idea of what he wants to do. Board is a wash. He's going to try and go for the roll. Actually, it looked like he was going for a deep push there into the pile. Take a look at this one more time. Fisher wanted the drag on the bag on the back. That was harder to say than it actually worked. Proud of myself. Jenna, what's up? Say hi. People hi. are asking. People are asking all about you. Oh, yeah, I bet. Yeah, nobody said anything. But <laughs> trying to make you feel better, at least. Thank you. You guys flying out tomorrow? 
Mm -hmm. Jeez, one day in, one day out. That's how we do it. Got to overload content in one day, though. I feel like I, I would enjoy your guys' job, though, now that I'm starting to watch TikToks all the yeah. time. I'm like, ooh. We'll make you TikTok I could famous. See, I could see this guy do that. Didn't I do a clip where it was like, you're going to be famous for American Cornhole at some point with I, Michelle? I don't think that got any views. So. <laughs> don't think we did that one. <laughs> That's all right. I know who my fans are. I'm a fan. It's a very there niche audience, Wally. <laughs> I'm fine with it. Trust me. 100% fine with it. That's not true. I had 271 likes on my post about being the, uh, I guess, announcer for the Stevie Awards. Anthony and myself going to hold it down. Backside hit. Who are you? Uh, are you going to roast any pros? Just the content team. Okay. Don't worry. We got you. Yeah, I'm going to roast a couple pros. We got, we got some ideas. Can't spoil it, though. I'm hoping that they'll let me kind of take my own direction at it and have an award for the most awkward knuckles. I feel like that has to happen. Oh, absolutely. Nice. Email there from Philip Lopez Jr. 9-4 though. Trying to get back to the third broadcast this season for the shootout. First bag is down the middle in round number six it looks like. Of course, Mark and Phil, no strangers to the broadcast either. So you ladies have been on the broadcast, kind of doing your little thing on the side with these pros. Do you guys get bored seeing the same players over and over again, or do you enjoy it? I don't know. I root for the, the newbies You're on the, the court. Underdogs? Yeah, for sure. Well, we're kind of out of underdogs left in this one. Yeah. Yeah, all the teams that are left here are the usual home run hitters. Brett Guy, Matt Guy, Justin Burton Jr., Logan Chamberlain. Small field out here in Ramsey, Minnesota. You guys are watching the ACL schedule, and it shows that we're supposed to be live at 3 o'clock. Yes, we're early, but if we were late or on time, there'd be nothing to watch. Blind draw action, I guess, is going on. We could probably give you guys some extra blind draw content. Or I could do something I'm not used to, which is just enjoy the day. Might get a little break today. Play some sit and goes. I don't know. Yeah, enjoy it. Relax. Spa day. <laughs> get a pedicure, you know, a little mani pedi. A little facial. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need one. Got to clean the pores. Got to get the pores clean. <laughs> I really need a haircut, but I'm letting it grow out to the world. I'm going to braid it. You guys know how to braid hair? Yeah, I do. Okay. You like should let tight? us cut it mm. during the CV works. Shave your head. At the end. At the end, maybe. Okay. We, could do it. we could do a challenge. We'll do a challenge or something like that. And, like, somebody has to hit, like, a 50-foot shot or something. If they do, they get to shave the head or something. All right. We'll do something. All right. Actually, no. That'll be, that'll be a match <laughs> between all you guys. Okay, okay, the content team The has content team has wait, to Wait, wait, we have to airmail? Yeah. Okay. The content team right. has a game, and then the winner gets to shave. Absolutely. Sign me up. It is getting kind of annoying. Like, it's getting long and hot. Yeah. <laughs> like, Same. Especially, like, whenever I came in today, like, the hair's wet, and I'm like, okay, I can't wear the hat because then the bills get, you know, nasty and messed up, my hat. So I'm like, Same. I'll just let it sit for a little bit, and then it gets dry, and I'm like, yep, yep. Welcome. Welcome to our life. I'm, I'm fine. But you guys probably know what to buy. Like, this is, I haven't let it grow out in a long time, so I don't even know what condition or anything to buy. It's a whole new world for me. Good block there from Fisher. What's up, brother? Ricky in the building. Oh, a little bit deep on that bag. And sitting on the back of the hole. Fisher's got a good chance right here. I think Gavin wants him to roll on top, but I think the play here is just go in. Fisher's right. And Fisher nice. will get to collect. Nicely done. You know, I got to tell you, Amanda's oh. given me the uh, the microphone back. Mm -hmm. It smells better now. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yours is the only one. <laughs> the only one to use that one is you it, and Amanda now. So uh, there you go. It, 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 it is much nicer now. 
Fine. Good vibes. Fine. I'll start taking Amanda showers. Vibes. Start taking showers on broadcast day for you. What do we think they're talking about during this timeout? I think about shoes. They're trying to figure out. They're like, shoes hey, have you like... seen the red haired girl talking on the microphone? <laughs> they're like, we need to uh, we need to get ourselves some shoes like Matt and Brett Guy have. Yeah. You know? we need Why to get do we our not own. have our own shoes? That'd be a great content series. <laughs> what do you shoes? talk about time there you go. Yeah. What do you talk about during timeouts? I think you should record like people during their timeout and then show other pros and have them ad lib oh, over that'd be great. it. You know what I mean? Like here, what are they saying? Like, I don't know if Trey you guys watch. You're listening. Write that down. Write it down. I'm telling Type you, I'm it. a content machine. Like I got all these ideas. <laughs> but I, like we did this last year. I believe it was myself and Michelle. We were voicing over. I think it was Trey and Haley. Uh huh. And we caught Haley stuff in her face. Oh, I remember that. And we were like, oh, she was so super. Good. She was so super good. excited about that. <laughs> Some of our best work. I think you caught me doing something. Oh yeah, and yeah, we got you before too. Yeah, that was good. I'll say we have enough uh, footage of Bernie this year doing his little Bernie wiggle, yeah. wiggle dance. I like it. The Bernie wiggle. Mm -hmm. The biggle. <laughs> Call it the biggle. The biggle. <laughs> 11-7. What round are we in, Burn? Nine? We are in round number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Gavin. Gavin just looks focused, man. Well, mm, as soon as I say that, side off to the left. side. I, Anthony's, the, I will jinx a human being in a second. Anthony's got that grimace on his face. He knows yeah, it's Anthony. not what he wants. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a bully here from Philip going slick side into mm. the pile. It actually stays. Yeah. That's got, fine. Got the one in the back to fall. Roll attempt coming here from Gavin. Ooh. Too far on it. This is an interesting position wow. here. Drive through here for, for six possibly six. And a lead change. Jimmy Eumann's going up top. He's driving through as well. Can he hit it? Oh, oh. it does not go. Wow, unlucky. Yikes. Still gets the two, but that is unlucky. Two-point game, three rounds remain. Winner goes to the broadcast. Jimmy said he would have shot it. I kind of think that was the play, too. Might have got an and one out of it. Fisher there double-checking what round they are in. It is indeed round number 10. So there's your point again, the way Fisher throws that hyper extension of his left knee when he dips Whoa. down. It, make, it literally hurts me watching him do it. <laughs> Watch as he goes all the way down that knee. Hyper extends right there. That, that literally, I, I, it's, I'm sore. Just thinking about it. Well, I was putting the cameras up here this weekend, and uh, I realized I need a forklift now because climbing a ladder is painful for me, apparently. Yeah. You know you're getting old when going up and down stairs is actually a painful experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, tell me about it. My house that I had had no stairs. I sold my house, and I moved in with my mom and dad for a little bit there before I moved to Kansas City. Stairs. I moved to Kansas City, bottom floor of the apartment, no stairs. Perfect. Back home for these two months, stairs. I'm in torture right now. I hate I, stairs, man. I've got a buddy of mine that's wanting to sell a house, and he wants to buy a ranch. And I was like, really? I'm not a big fan of ranching the one. He's like, no stairs, man. Dude, I'm, it was <laughs> it was glorious. I loved it. I loved it. All right, so interesting decision time. That's what we talk about during timeouts here. <laughs> stairs and knee pain. Mar yeah, Mark <laughs> is in great shape here for a double collect on the airmail. So Fisher wants to take Ooh. that away. He did not. That's trouble. Here it comes. When does Mark want to shoot it? I'm shooting now if I'm Mark. Going to make it clap. Front and back. Got to make it clap. What up, Bubba? All right. Bag is in hand. Bag is there away. Is. And, and he is going to hit it perfectly. Gets all of them to go. Mark nice Richards shot. doing Mark Richards things right there. Big collect. Oh, wow. Way to minimize the damage. We're all tied at 11 going into round number 11. Wow. Big hits. Big shot right here from Mark, getting them both on one bag. And then on the other side, Fisher with his back against the wall has to get this collect. How about that perfectly timeout transition? That is good, man. Way to go. Jeez. That is Give money. this guy a raise. <laughs> Gavin going around Phillips block there. Jack in the building as well. Jack now. Jack missed the, uh, the chance to get on the mic. There's still time. Jen Jenna said a total of three words. I did. I'm sorry. One of them was, <laughs> Big let down. One of them was long, though. It was nice. <laughs> One in behind. All right, it's 11 11. Jenna, what is your wish? My wish? Make a wish. It's 11 11, 11. 11, round 11. 
I wish for it to be a little colder here. Ooh, it's really hot. Call. It is warm. It's yeah. really hot. I can feel. That's why Time I wore the long Gavin. sleeves because they're like, it was like really hot. We we're sweating yesterday, and they said, "Don't worry, he's got great air conditioning." No. So Not I wore so long sleeves because I'm like, okay, I don't want to be cold today. I'm in here now. I'm Sweltering. sweating still. You go up top to get two to go to the last round. Oh, he's already got one off, doesn't he? Yep. Already got one off the side, just on to get three. I just like going board here. See yeah. these on to get with. three. Oh, he's going to try to. He went for the deep cut. Yeah. If he pulls it off, he gets five. Either way, he gets three. Now you've got a three point lead going into the last round. Obviously, four bagger wins it. That was a safety play. I don't mind it. Here's the first one. Which bag does Mark block with? Going to be the first one. That's a good lane for it. Side, side by, by side. side. Does Mark have three airmails in him? If he does, it's time to break him out right yep. now. Let's see him. Oh, pulled back. Going to take a look at it. Wow. I think they're just going to talk about strategy at this point. I think they're going to talk about what they're going to eat for dinner. How about, All right, let's do it. Let's how do about voiceover. halfway through got. your throw deciding, you know what? I want to take a look at it. Stop it. All right, Jenna, go ahead. Do the voiceover. Um, yep, I'm out. <laughs> 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 I don't know, man. You think if I hit this shot right here, we could probably go to Foot Locker and get some better nah, shoes. Benny Hanna. I don't know, man. I like the Under Armour shoes that are a little bit better. You got that one, two. You slide right into. He's like, no, nah, dude, you're not going to be able to hit that shot right now, man. Shoe. What do you think? Hooters wings are pretty good. It's just you can't find one in Minnesota. Yeah. No, I feel like Mark Richards is an Olive Garden man. <laughs> oh, solid call. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I think we're all on the same page now. Good calls, guys. Back to the action. Jimmy Human says, you got to shoot it. I'm right there with him. You got to hit three air mills in a row here and hope Fish and Hamilton misses two bags at some point. Yep. Next bag from Fisher Hamilton's got to be slick side to push through this. That's a risk of going off the back of the board. First air mill is in. Cash. See if he goes slick side now to try and collect, bringing that bag back left or right on the board. He is slick side. He does Perfect. get the collect nicely done. That is a broadcast shot right there from Fisher Hamilton. Absolutely. And this is a desperation backside air mill. You got, oh, he's going oh. through it. Interesting. Mm. Now you got to hope for a miss. I was going to say, you're not, not going to get your miss off the board. Well, you're not going to get three out of it. Now you've got to find a way to get that bag off the board. And yours in. Do you that believe seems simple. in miracles? That grimace right there tells you new. No. As a lefty, <laughs> you've got to come in as hard as you can at the front of that blue bag. Hope you lift it off the board, and then both your bags go in. Simple TP Easy. effect. Simple. Simple slick side TP effect to get it to go in the hole. Even I can make that. 100%. <laughs> Celebrity <laughs> shot. Bring Jen in. <laughs> He's on the other side of the board. Yep. If you're looking through, looking through some of the PPRs, if you want to know the difference in the game and the reason, and I hate to put it on one person, Philip Lopez Jr. shooting is 7-5 right now. And you gotta, you're in the last round, you're down three. That's gotta be the difference in the game. Bags on the ground will kill you. Yep, gotta. Oh, that's man, that's gonna do it. Can get. So, Gavin Cano has a chance for the double in the finals for singles and doubles. Plenty of TV time for Gavin tonight. All right, boys and girls, we're gonna come back with more pro doubles action. Ramsey, Minnesota, right after this.
All right, boys and girls, we are back. Ramsey, Minnesota, shootout number six, pro doubles action. We've already got a chance for a double. Pro singles, Gavin Cano is taking on Jimmy Humans. Gavin Cano and Fisher Hamilton have made it to the finals in pro doubles. So a chance for the double for Gavin to see who they're gonna play. We've now got Matt and Brett Guy going up against Justin Burton Jr. and Logan Chamberlain. Logan and Matt once again throwing against each other. They've had a lot of fun the last month and a half throwing against each other. A lot of gamesmanship, a lot of chirping back and forth. So we'll see how this plays out. We've got some down and backs to go through. I'm Bernie Neighbors joined alongside the K9, Wally Kassler. Wally, what's happening? I mean, you stole Amanda's entry. Huh? Uh, Amanda was gonna bring us oh, back. I didn't know. In. This was her one time, one to, time shine. to do it, and I stole it. All right, yeah, so let's go. Let's let's go ahead and redo this. Hold on. We're no, gonna I, I, hold on. No, no, no. I don't want you to feel left out. You it's ready? Too Here we late go. Now. We're bringing Amanda in. Yeah. In three, two, one. Bring us back. All right. Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> That sounds like <laughs> that sounds like the beginning of a podcast on the Playboy Channel. Do it again. Enthusiasm. <laughs> USA. Hey guys, welcome back. USA up oh, all night. It's Amanda up all night. <laughs> So, obviously, Wally, your, your team is here. You were out on a ledge taking JBJ and Logan Chamberlain to win it. <laughs> it's only chalk if it doesn't work, right? Yeah. yeah um, I don't know. I mean, I kind of called it. I said JBJ's kind of took a step back. He has, but he's still got so many steps left ahead of everybody else. Right. I think they're in good shape here. Matt and Brett, they've been here before. They a few broadcast times. broadcast against uh, Logan, not Logan, Noah and Jeremy Frazier. And they've got their own shoes. The shoes matter, man. Yo, money, it's all about the shoes. Got their Guy Nation shoes on. Like Amanda always tells me, look good, feel good, throw good. That's, there you go. Yep, I say that. Mm -hmm, all mm -hmm. the time. All the time. I actually believe that. Sounds like something you'd say. I do. <laughs> if you dress like trash, you're probably going to play like trash. <laughs> Sounds like something Jenna would say. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part about it. Oh, he's got it down. That's the best part about all this. Jenna can't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Jenna. Poor Jenna. Everyone's making fun of Jenna now. Even out there in the in the interwebs, they're making fun of Jenna, and they don't even know who Jenna is. Jenna, nobody's making fun of you. <laughs> all right. So, do you think we're going to get that chirpy chirp? Got to, right? I mean, the last month and a half, all they've done is chirp at each other. Logan's chirping right now. Only yeah. Matt can hear him, though. See if Logan wants to go with his patented back-to-back-to-back -back -back timeout theory. I'm so <laughs> that guy, it yeah, didn't I, work last time. I don't think it's really working all that much <laughs> no. for Logan. I think he needs to kind of leave it alone and see how that works. Yeah, I mean, stick with what got you there, right? But I don't think it has. I mean, no, I mean before that, like yeah. he didn't do it getting you there. I yeah. Because mean. sometimes I think you're taking so much thought into what you're going to say and how you're going to chirp oh, that you, you're, t you're getting your, your your concentration away from the job at hand. We saw that last season with the Gores, and they've turned it around now. They're pretty much just all about the business. Yep. Making sure that they keep putting bags in the hole rather than what they say or what the other person's yeah. going to say to them. I mean, I understand that it's fun, and I know, you know, I've talked to Logan. Logan said, man, it's just a lot of fun to do it. And I get it, so let's see what happens. Matt not really paying much attention. There's a little little knuckle. Little knuckle to start. So far, so good. Why is it knuckles? Ah, you know, new generations. No one wants to slap hands anymore. COVID. <laughs> you gotta be, gotta be safe now. Uh, it not? started really with COVID. No one wanted to shake hands. Why not a big fat kiss? Yeah. Once again, welcome to Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> Live at night. So many comments though. Uh, that does not say. <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me the score is going to be up. Oh, there's the jinx. First jinx of the day. I was going to say I feel the score is going to be under 10. It's going to be a 9 8, 9 7 kind of finish. Not a lot of points going to go back and forth. But make it 2 0 after 1. Shows you what I know. Got, got the professor, Anthony Ione, listening to himself on his on his mm -hmm. phone over here next to him, next to me. Better drop a tweet. <laughs> <laughs> tweet, tweet. Well, hot take was uh, Hamilton and Cano. And, uh, Is that hot, though? Is Gavin Cano and Fisher Hamilton hot? Huh? Win a shootout and their world champion. Okay, okay. First, I got you. 
So what Professor is saying there, he's got Gavin Cano, Fisher Hamilton winning a shootout and a world championship in doubles. That is pretty hot because that's there's a lot of teams to beat in the world championship. Speaking of pretty hot, we got. Uh, and here they are. They've made it into the last match for the streaming we day. We got the squad. This is it. Yeah. Tell you what, though, you get Amanda on the microphone talking about kissing players and between rounds and I didn't 900 say viewers. I was kissing players. I'm <laughs> saying the players should kiss before they play. You know, it's all dudes, right? Yeah, they should <laughs> kiss. It'd be cute. It's all dudes. What's up, brother? I don't know, man. Up 3 0. It's all about the shoes, money. So far, no chirping, Wally. It's been a quiet, quiet yeah, round. Yeah, the over. chirping in the down and backs, but I think once we got serious, it kind of yeah changed a little bit. Down three nothing, two. You gotta, you gotta get the lead back for you can chirp. That's a good point. Kind of hard to chirp when you're losing. Well, gets those staring at a, staring at two here. So he, oh, he's gonna roll up in behind. Ah, not the best shot. He knows it. Bernie, I, missed don't, his location. Uh, I don't want to speak for you, okay. um, but you're more than welcome. Same thing with Amanda, if you guys are interested. After the shootout portion here, since we are kind of early on time, we will switch over to the blind draw bracket. Mm -hmm, I'll mm -hmm. be commentating along um, the action there, so if anybody joins me, great. If not, no worries. Have fun with that. <laughs> you know what, Bernie, I'll no. join you. There you go. There's Amanda's going to jump in. You'll yeah. join Bernie. I'm going to join Bernie because you know Yeah. So you're de you guys yeah, are both you're leaving dipping. me you're getting yeah, yeah, we're out. <laughs> <laughs> Not even uh, a kiss uh, goodbye. Uh, <laughs> three, <laughs> two. <laughs> round number four. I'm telling you now, Michelle's here, and she's got, she's got her smell goods on. Things have picked up. The, the smell game is much better over here now. <laughs> We feel bad about myself. <laughs> well, it's not that there was a Amanda, bad if I smell. give you a couple hundred bucks, will you go buy me some nice cologne? Yeah. And take care of me. Yeah. A nice wow. roll. Great roll. How about that? Brett, Brett I'm guy. sitting here watching like, yeah. wish somebody would hit a replay on that, and that's my job. <laughs> Ooh, that looked deep out of his hand. He knows that he's not happy with himself. Brett's going to go up. Go! Big hit. Give him three. That guy about throws out his shoulder in the middle of this shot. Let's take a look at it one more again with the roll and then the <laughs> airmail from Brett Guy. One more game. Big shot, Brett. How many times have we seen him hit a big shot and celebrate like yeah. this on ACL live feeds? Matt Guy's first shot here is off Ooh, to the left a little pulled bit. Pulled that one left again. That's all right, though. Interesting. Was he trying to get a piece there? That just seemed no, awful I think, deep. I think he just wanted to go in. Yeah, just give up the two. Yeah, you can tell he's trying to go in because after he goes in, he's mad about the miss from a long time ago. Yeah. In for two. Oh, I thought it was a little left. Six, four, round number five. Once again, winner to the broadcast to take on Fisher Hamilton and Gavin Cano. Mark yeah. says Amanda sounds really cool. She should be on more. Yes. Thank you, Mark. I agree, Mark. <laughs> Let's transfer Just her to this. For you, I will. Transfer there her to this is. team. That voice is silky. I'm still trying to figure out what's going on exactly. <laughs> but we're here. What did you guys say to me a second ago? I'm going to make you famous? Is that what did you say? I'm going to make you famous. You're going to make me famous? Yeah. Uh-oh. Still 6-4. For those just tuning in, Gavin Cano, chance for the double tonight, playing in singles final and the doubles final. Are they wearing bowling shoes? Uh -huh. <laughs> big, big shots to the uh, Guy Nation shoes there. Yeah, the chat's dangerous, Amanda. Yeah, you got to make sure you proofread it before you say it out loud sometimes. <laughs> that was going to be a long roll roll for the side-by-side. -side. Interesting. Oh, what a shot. Yeah. Landed right on top of the Can't pile. Can't believe they didn't all go. 
I was just getting ready to say, Matt doesn't really have that flat bag, so bringing yeah. that bag back on the slick side is really hard, but when you land on top of it and just ride it up like that. He's thrown a few done. bags in his life, though. He's dabbled. <laughs> and that's sitting up on its side. It looks like it <laughs> wants to come back. He's curious if he needs to go up for the Ooh, airmail. Good great shot there from Logan. To flatten that out. There's he, a piece. Does he chase, or does he just give up and make it a tie? In for a tied game. Up top to keep the lead. He's going up. Landed ooh, short. Ooh, 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 Gets ooh. lucky as that one goes in. I thought it was going to be hung up for a second. We're all tied at six, going into round number eight. Once again, winner to the broadcast tonight. Both players really focused. I think that's a little shorter than he wanted it. Drama. That's a good rolling distance, though, for Justin. Going over it. Wow, that's confident shot. Especially after he missed one earlier. Oh, Not now a chance for another. Back. Well, he wants to know if he could go around it. I think he had to roll this. He just hit the big shot that you need. Don't give him a reason to get one. Oh, he one. almost. What a great bag. Better than in. Did they have reverse tilt on? They did. That was crazy tilt. We have With the professor. That was reverse? Reverse, reverse tilt. We've got a lead change now 10-6. Justin Burton Jr., Logan Chamberlain going into round number nine, completely flipped this game on its head. Blocking right off the bat. You getting involved? Mm -hmm. Are you getting involved? Can you tell them what round it is? I was. I thought we voted against that. I was telling it came from behind. No. Not not the not the court. Not the player. Okay, there you yeah. go. That one looked ugly. Uh oh, no, 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 no. There's, there's, there's the chirping. Logan giving a little chirp. Matt's going to try to settle himself here, not get caught up in it. Timeout violation. <laughs> Ooh, level one block from Matt Guy. The game has changed. Give Logan another reason to start chirping. Look, went for like a little cut, but ends up being a cover. Yeah. Matt can drive through this and do some damage control. It's going on now, though. Ooh. Here comes a roll. No, well, just going to go back on top. He, he loves it. He's fine with the one. In for one. If Matt goes over, he is. That's deep. Oh, if it catches the back edge, that looked, that looked deep out of his hand. Big shot. Give him one. Somebody better go get that backpack away from Matt. It's in trouble. It is in trouble. 11-6. JBJ and Logan up. Round 10. Justin so calm, so composed. Not helping Brett out <laughs> at all. Good job going slick side. Bringing that back left to right. One more bag for the Great collect. Bag. But he's going to more than likely pick that up. He does. But you got to do all that work to get your own bag, which just allows him to throw the, the four bagger. And then the dreaded fourth bag block never works. Give up the two, make it 13 6. Matt double check, making sure the score is right. Logan saying, hey, what is this? This is some gamesmanship right here. This is some gamesmanship. It's within the rules to double check the score. It is. <laughs> it's within the rules. It's not considered a timeout out of turn, so Matt knows what he's doing, I think. Yep. It did work on Logan, too, because Logan was frustrated with it. See if he can settle himself. He does, straight down. Straight down Broadway. <laughs> that had some anger on it. I yeah. love it. I don't know if I'm mad, I'm calling four timeouts. There's, there's the row. chirping. Back and forth we go with these two, all season long. Rivalries. Amanda, who's your rival? My rival? Mm -hmm. You have a cornhole rival? You have a friend of me? A friend of me? Do not. I like everybody. A little ELE. There's an, oh, oh. <laughs> waving goodbye. Logan Chamberlain early for the wave goodbye. Stays 13 6. We're in the last and final round. It's going to be hard for Brett to get seven off JBJ, you got to figure. Got a fire blocker on bag number one. That's your only chance. 
Hmm. Or let Logan block himself. Actually, That's weird. My rival mm -hmm. is Noah Monta. Oh. Because he has better hair than you? No, because I've beaten him before. You beat him? Yeah. Okay. What game was it? Challenge. Well, maybe because Jordan Kimball was on my team. But oh, it was a cornhole. <laughs> yeah. I was expecting to be like, it was Battleship. No, and I I'll found. never let him live it down. He lost to me. And that will do it. That will it. do it. it. Not everyone's sure what's going on, but Justin Burton Jr. and Logan Chamberlain will be moving on to the championship match where they will take on Gavin Cano, who's going for the double, and Fisher Hamilton. That will be tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. local here in Minnesota. All right, boys and girls, that's it for Pro Doubles. Amanda jumping in and joining us. Appreciate it. For Wally Kassler, K9, I'm Bernie Neighbors. We will see y'all down the road. Bye. By the way, guys, I'm coming back for the blind draw. Stay tuned. See you in a few.
ladies and girls, boys and gentlemen. Welcome back here to court number one in Ramsey, Minnesota. Switching over the blind draw, let's take a look at the bracket, see exactly who we got left in this thing. Ryan Wiedenfeld teaming up with Landon Crabtree up 19 to 8 over Alec Ryan and Jim Larson. Justin Ling and Owen Kirk, it looks like, 13 to 4 over Eric Zockline and Joe Karnick. Winner of that one gets Elizabeth Tennyson and Michael Wom something. Other side of the bracket on the loser side, JD Sloan and Corey Ballard waiting for either Tony Smith, Jacob, is that Reeder? Uh, Tony Rinaldi and Chris Wagner, Trey Birchfield, Joey Novak, Ryan Mitchell, Brian Stone, Vanessa Fillingham, and Brent Frasis. A lot of KC people left alive. Speaking of KC people, we're waiting on Shane Dodd. Shane Dodd and uh, Hunter Thorne will take on Noah Almanza and Matthew Hansen. So I'm going to shoot him a message real quick. I'm going to bring in the ladies. Jenna, Amanda, what up? What's up? Oh, I don't know. You're just chilling, waiting for these amateurs, you know? <laughs> All right, well, there's Shane. Shane has made his way to the court now. Let's take a look at Shane's down and backs and see how bad these can be. Looks like we got some Vortex Debris, Clear Creek Cornhole variety. And I don't know who this uh, was, it Matthew? Girls, go get Matthew Hansen. Who's I Matthew? No idea who, who is that. that? <laughs> All right, let's, let's pretend. Let's pretend that we know who he is. Find somebody around the area that could be Matthew Hansen. Oh. That guy. <laughs> that does not look like a Matthew. You got. You got to work on your ethnicity, okay? <laughs> let's try this again. Amanda, who you got? Who's Matthew for you? I'm trying to look for the last name. Oh, there we go. There's the, there's the page. All right, chat. So I guess if you guys have any questions for the content team, let's open up to you guys. We're trying to kill some Ooh. time here. Chat, what do you guys have for... Let's, hear, actually, let's get the camera on you guys so they can see who you is. Whoa, too much, too much. Oh. There we go. What? Where's that camera? Yeah, which camera are we looking at? You can't step on my cord. <laughs> I, I pulled my head is. off. Oh, man. That hurt me. Uh, what time is broadcast? 7 o'clock. Lawen says, do a Facebook search. I could do that. I could oh. do that, actually. That's actually a really good idea. <laughs> Fisher needs a Texas so he can join in the Texas takeover. Florida's got their own takeover, though. Texas and Florida, I think, are the two top teams. All right, first question, here we go. We have a question. Is there no singles at the Open in Wisconsin coming up? Like single people, or? <laughs> <laughs> I'm single myself, I, how you doing ladies? I don't but, know uh, yeah, about. singles will be a different day. I think doubles tomorrow and then singles on Sunday. Shootout is usually Friday. Hunter was joking around about calling the clock, but uh, we might be getting to that point. I'll step in. It's probably Matthew. Can we Sitton. mic up Logan? Okay. Where's, where's Logan, Logan Chamberlain? Is he behind us? Do you see Tony? I thought I just saw him somewhere. I don't see him. Anymore. That's it. He played three PDC players. I don't know where Logan went. Are you talking about micing up during the match? As long as he guy? keeps it PNG. That's Matthew Hansen. There it is. Uh, you guys were right. I see the jersey. All right. Give us some I more Bean Boozled clips. Yeah, don't worry. We've got about eight on deck. I still think that was bull. <laughs> Had to eat the flavor that I did not pick. <laughs> um, we really wanted to do the one chip challenge. Yeah, what do you guys think about a hot chip challenge? But we didn't want to ruin anybody's day. Yeah. I feel like we need to have some paperwork with that that they have to sign before mm -hmm. they <laughs> Wait, well, that's what I said. I got the, prize. I mm -hmm. got the uh, no, sla no milk. slap thing. I want to make sure it's safe, though. Clip it. It's too far away, but it's recorded. It, it is recorded. The only problem is you can't see how high they are in the thing. What kind of conditioner do we think Noah Almanza uses on his hair? I don't know, but that's what I need. Like I, I don't have, I don't have the flow. Like mine is just kind of dried out. He's got the mane going on. 
I'm telling you, you guys, you still do a look-alike thing. Like, who does this player look like? Like, he looks like a lion right now, right? Did you see our, did you see our stories in Portland? No. They literally oh, made me send you Man. Did you use the names that I said? Logan Chamberlain was the Lego guy. He's the Lego yeah. guy, yeah. Yeah. I think Alex Rawls kind of looks like a character from Olaf. Frozen. Yep. Yep. Olaf. Yeah. Yep. Who was another one? Who's Hunter Thorne was a. Uh, is it Scratch from Ice Age? What's his name? The little, the little squirrel guy? Not the patch over there? No. The little squirrel from Ice Age. What is his name? <laughs> I don't know if he had a name. You're talking about the one at the beginning of all the Ice Age where he like hits yeah, the Yeah, or he's looking for his acorn. You know, okay, the acorn in the ice. <laughs> what is the squirrel's name? Chat? I don't know. Scrat, yeah. Scrat. Okay, okay, okay. No, not Sid. Oh, Duncan Clemmer. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Duncan. <laughs> Love ya. I like the band Hanson, too. Huh? Guy said, let's go Hanson. Shane Dodd had a good run in the qualifier, so just a little bit short. Got to be happy to look down at your phone and see you got Hunter Thorne as your partner. Duncan, I don't know if you know this, but you really look like Hunter Thorne. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's ever told you that, but. All right, so who's my uh, who's my cartoon look alike, ladies? Mm. Don't be, don't hold back. I need a minute. I on can this. take I can't, it. I'm I can not take good it. with this on a whim. I dare somebody say Wally the robot. I've already said that, but you know, oh, oh, there's better. There's something better. Because I pick up trash, is what you're saying. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> Who does Wally look like? Is, Mo is Moana the same Dude? angel? What? Same. <laughs> what up, baby? How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Lexi Small front in the building. Hello, Lexi. I like it. <laughs> hey, don't think about it the wrong way <laughs> Good roll bag right there from Hunter. What? I'm just trying to figure out who you look like. There's not so many fat cartoon characters. <laughs> That's not the direction I was going, about. but. <laughs> I could be the kid from Up. Who was Max? <laughs> and Bernie can be the, the old guy. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Shazeski looks like the Sherman on the American Pie. Shazeski looks like a lot of things. Okay. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he I think my so favorite's the, the villain guy, the kid with from uh, A Christmas Story. No, my favorite is um, the dude from Where the Millers. Yeah, that's he looks just too. like him. I don't remember Where the Millers, but I was thinking more along the that's lines right. of the kid from The Incredibles, the bad guy from The Incredibles. Stuart Little is still a good one. Yeah, Stuart Little is good. Which movie is that from? Where are the Millers. Okay. I think it's the Iron. He's gone through a lot of changes. I remember watching his movies from a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I love the line draw talk. If you want to push it, push it. If you want to shoot it, shoot it. Like basically no help at all. Make your own decision, execute. One slick side pushes the wrong bag, gets it to go, but well, I think he's still getting points out of it, right? Three. I feel like it's kind of easy to mistake those bags. Those are both same color. cornhole bags. <laughs> okay, now. Speaking of short shorts, what's up, Johnny Cox? Welcome in, brother. <laughs> you can read it. You told me to proofread. Oh, <laughs> well, while he did the Mong cornhole to show you a good time yesterday. Yeah, it was a great time, man. Lots of, lots of love out there from them. Appreciate it. Alan took my money at the end, though, so bad on him, but 
was a lot of fun, man. We had uh, free beer, which is always good. It's been a while since I've drank beer, though, so I did kind of wake up with a little bit of a headache today. The fun times. Airmail, big hit there from Hunter. So, ladies, I made the Awkward Knuckles commercial. I'm not sure if you guys watch our show at all, but what's your favorite Awkward Knuckles of the season so far? Do you have one? I'm not going to lie. I've never seen the show. This is great. This is great <laughs> stuff. Fan. What about the commercials on the live feeds? <clears throat> mm -hmm. You don't watch those either? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah. We're too busy uh, making TikToks while we... Apparently not. Some great Awkward Knuckles content there. What if, yeah, instead of awkward knuckles, they just... You set them up? There's, like, different types of awkward knuckles. Wait, did you see the video we posted today from ACL Canada? I'm not going to lie, I don't watch your show. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can't watch the corn nuts one without hearing the hibachi. That's all you, Jen. <laughs> Miss it, Amanda. It was amazing. I know. I'm sad. You know those like uh, they're not really harmonics. What are they called? The kazoo's like we turn them upside down, and like the kazoo goes from one end to the other. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. What <laughs> 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 That's what she sounded like when she was. Yep. That's what she sounded like when she was trying to catch the hibachi. The shrimp. Okay, now. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea how thankful I am that nobody got that on camera because. <laughs> I had my phone out, too. I was I getting know. ready to do it. I know. And then I think whenever Haley was like, no, I don't want to do it. And I was like, oh, you guys are lame. Now it goes for that back block, puts it low. There's a little bit of an opportunity here for Hunter to collect. But he looks like he's going slick side. He is going for the collect, and he's off the back of the board. Your rival scores four more, making it 11 to nothing, Amanda. Yep. How do you feel about that? <laughs> yep. I wasn't paying attention. All right, to back to you, Bob. <laughs> Josh Peterson, Port 14. Josh Peterson, Port 14. Block right there to start things off for Hanson. Slick side into the pile. No movement from Shane. This is flying job. Slick side right into the pile. Kind of helps Matthew out a little bit, but let's see if he's got a back block. It's one of the hardest shots to do, and he's off to the side. Could be a big round here for Shane if he could push through. And it clogged on him. I can hear Cat from here. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are eavesdropping. <laughs> this is what you guys need is like those uh, microphone like funnels, you know, you can just. The cones, you could like go across the room and hear what people are saying. <laughs> that could be dangerous, though, you know? Absolutely no love around the hole there from Shane. He'll get a point out of it, but could have been seven. Ends up being one. Drinks martinis. <laughs> Never like had a martini. Big appletini guy. <laughs> I like my smoothies. I eat. Big smoothie guy. What kind of smoothies? Any of them. Strawberry banana. Mainly banana. strawberry oh, banana. Yeah. Like that's the one I get from like. Is it Smoothie King in the airports? Uh, smoothie. I used to work there. And smoothie King. Mm -hmm. So you can make them for me on the reg if I get a blender and bring it to these. I could. <laughs> Have you seen those mini blenders? I bought the uh, like $280 Ninja blender. Like I wanted to go big, and I've used it one time. <laughs> so no, I haven't seen the small ones. I got no need for such minuscule blenders. <laughs> well, if you get a bullet, that's just like one smoothie. Did you get a bullet? Take it on a smoothie? No. <laughs> There's uh, your bullet. That type of bullet. No, really. no, I didn't get that one. Back 
bags are they throwing, Wallet? Sorry? So what bags are they throwing? We got some Viper R's against some Vortex Debris. Another back block is off to the side. Shane again with an opportunity Ooh. to push through. That time he's going to get it. That was nice. Plus four on the round makes the score what, ladies? Uh, 13 to five. Good job. No way. Did you just do that? Or did you read it on the screen? I read it on the screen. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Adding four points to one was pretty hard. Hey, I just listen. I was an art major big. in college <laughs> for a reason. <laughs> We only really drew the numbers. We didn't know what they mean next to each other. Our job is TikTok, Wally. <laughs> never heard of torturing it. pros. I wish they'd bring back the Vine. Oh, Do it for the Vine. I miss Vine. I wish they'd bring back MySpace. Facts. Do you even know what MySpace is, Amanda? Go look. I have one. Thank okay. you. I might be six, but I had one. <laughs> Uh, rule number one, though, of commentating, uh, you never talk about your age. <laughs> makes me feel bad. Fifteen to five. Staying slick side, trying to go in on first bag. He's off the side a little bit, but it works. Shane tried to get a little bit too cute. Too far to the right, he's in trouble. Bag number three is in there from Matthew, up seven to two on the round. Shane stepping out to collect. I do not like this. Hunter calls him back in, too. <laughs> Knocks him in. That's not bad. He actually cleaned up the lane. Matthew should step out again. He's not. He's going for the back block. Again, that time he finally hits it. Airmail time here for Shane, or else this game is over. He's up top. He's going to oh. hit it. Stays alive. Only going to be four points is what, Jenna? <clears throat> what was the score before? <laughs> 19 to 5. Where do you see that on the screen? <laughs> I need my glasses for that. My glasses. I can't find my glasses. <laughs> Hey, you better watch it, Angel. <laughs> Don't put my age in the chat, bro. Had these girls thinking I was 28. <laughs> that was the game is over. Airmail up top. It's not going to go in. Uh -oh. This is going to be the first loss. <laughs> loss. They're going to head over to the loser's bracket. Mon's off the back with that one. He's actually got a chance to rodeo this in. He's going slick. He's up top. Stays alive. As an amateur player, you'd love to get paired up with a top-tier pro like this. Mm -hmm. Looks like Noah and Hunter are having a little bit of fun, but I'm wondering if it could be stewing right now in Shane's head that they're down 20 to 5. Good block here on bag number one from Shane. Speedy Gonzalez from Allen. Got that commentator, Riz. Another bag off to the side. Twenty to seven, couple more points there. Let's see if we can keep it going. Tried hopping, but he's off to the left. Noah stays sticky side. Didn't have enough speed to push that one through. Back block from Hunters right where it needs to be. Air mill time here from Noah. Chance to close the game out. What round are we in, Jenna? <laughs> I 
I think we should ask the audience uh, who's watching. <laughs> yeah, guys. <laughs> it's like a game of I Spy. <laughs> She's looking at everybody on the screen. It's on there. Somebody help me. Ladies, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much is this one? Round 14, good call. Yes, that's what I was thinking. He was in he took Erie, us to wasn't the airport. he? Wasn't he in Erie? He did. He's my Uber ride to the airport, usually. The Uber. <laughs> no, she uses the zip code rule. She uses the zip code rule, so. <laughs> that's why she's all glammed up with the bling and makeup on, oh, looking, looking like a bachelorette out there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get our rose. Did that go? Nothing went. Or did it? Nope. Nothing fell. 20 to 8. No, my Almanza never looks stressed. No. Never. I strive to be like that. <laughs> just munching on the dog. That's why they call them munchkins, bro. You just pick them up and start eating one at a time for like 10 hours straight. <laughs> Taps in Shane's bag. Let's see if Shane can go back block now. He's off a little bit to the side. Slick side here from uh, Matthew. Can he collect? He does. Slick side here from Shane. This one's got to be in. It is not in. This bag doesn't even need to be thrown. That's going to do it. Seven on six. Slightly awkward knuckles there from Shane. Oh, it's off the board. Go team. Go team. Why don't you just hope everybody has fun? Go sports. You're all, all winners right. in my Sign book. Sign us out, Jenna. Bye. Commercial time. Tell everybody what's going on. Um, we're going to commercial break here at the Blind Draw in Ramsey, Minnesota. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> What are you talking about, man? Those are money. What up, chat? Welcome back in. They'll be money. All right, this is a King Seed match, I guess, right? Yeah. Noah Almanza and Matthew Hansen taking on Austin Wasco and Ryan Frenton. Who are these people? Some Texas Best jersey. Oh, we got another side. Let's go. I like it. I like it. All right. Chat's, uh, chat's in here roasting me on my riz, man. With some Riz haters, bro. You working? 
And let's bring in Mr. Riz himself. Josh, what's up? That's not the right mic, is it? One second. Is that better? There we go. Okay. So the, the girl's moved around my mic, so now I'm confusion. Okay. All right. This cord is in your lap. Good, good save. Okay. So what up, Wally? Oh, you know, just getting some extra blind draw content since the shootout went too early. I mean, it was run very well, so. Great job. Auto the button. So, yeah, my job is done for the day. Well, this job. So I've come to crash go your there party. And, still got to go there and push some buttons on a live feed. Mm, oh, yeah. I should probably charge my phone so it doesn't die <laughs> in the middle of a broadcast doing the scores. There you go. Should we answer this on chat? Do it. Toll free, free call. call. It's only 800 number. It's fine. <laughs> 900, probably not. I actually had one the other day. <laughs> I totally messed with them. <laughs> it was recorded, too. I'm going to post it one of these days. So who is Austin Waskow and Ryan Franson? I believe we saw Austin before. Is it South Dakota, I think? Or was no, it was, maybe it was Dallas. I don't know. You have access to that, you know, on, on the website. I could, but I uh, figured since you have a microphone on your head, I'd let you kind of talk a little bit, but never mind. Oh, I mean, Moving I, on. I, I, I am Ooh, talking. thanks, bro. Did you see the new reel by the ACL's Facebook page? Um, is it the sad face one? No, not yet. Or they showed me, but I couldn't hear it. It's a lot gooder when I can actually listen to it. All right, man. So let's talk about Wisconsin, dude. You got you got uh, home turf coming up. You think it's gonna have the best crowd possible, right? Nashville vibes, apparently. Yep. So if you guys are wanting to come to a tournament that's gonna be the future of cornhole, this is a good indication of what we got to come. This Oak Creek, Milwaukee Summerfest, the world's largest music festival. We already went over that, and any band that you can think of will probably be at Summerfest throughout the three weeks. Limp May not biscuit. be there. Uh, maybe. maybe. You can just keep rolling. Mm. Um, it's like me and I move in, I move out sometimes to these different apartments. Okay. That's a stretch. Okay. I did it all for... Mm. <laughs> right. Back to the game. Four to one. Mish over here getting ready. Gut, that's gutsy. Yeah, eating before four nerves. hours before broadcast. Those nerves are gonna come uh, rumbling. <laughs> <laughs> I love the blind draw communication. It's actually not communication. <laughs> right. You can bump it or shoot it. Whatever you want to do. Just try, d tell tell no Amanza what to do. Uh, right. Yeah. Like, just, like always shoot it. It's like um. Excuse me? That's why you should have put him in the loser's bracket. You're not going to be able to beat that. Don't you know who I am? I called the clock. You guys didn't say nothing. <laughs> I said, <laughs> oh, Mods up top, hits the short aim, gets the collect. I, I'm not an official. I told you, you got to ask him. You guys got to get trained as officials. No. 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 Wally has too much to do behind the scenes to do officiating. I don't want to know either. Way too Watch much behind the, the scenes. He is way too much behind the scenes, I promise. Way too much. Is that the voice of my best friend, Josh, Josh Keck? Keck? Yeah, buddy. Huh? Still a couple years out. What? Are officials still a couple years out? We will try to have officials on more courts next year. Um, as far as how many, I don't know. We're but taking 60% of the payouts from the pro division and paying the officials. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't going to be cheap. Whoa. Whoa, settle yeah, down, what happened there? Settle down, buddy. I'm not sure if there's an anger shot or like what happened. That was a rocket. skipping off of water. So how many people in chat are signed up for the mini boards tournament at Worlds? There's a mini boards tournament at Worlds? There is a mini boards tournament at Worlds. I need to find out what the schedule is going to be at Worlds so I can sign up. Guess what? What if I... What if I want to play in the qualifier? Well, it's on the website. Go ahead and look. But, I mean, I don't know if I got time. Check my messenger. There's nothing there. You got to hit your button. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know I'm going there. Why not? I mean, that's basically KC versus KC plus Weedfeld. Wait for that side anyway. You know, he's trying his best to run the tournament, right? I know he's not me. Who's my best friend in chat? Uh oh. You should have seen me. No, that must be true. That's, that's Beetlejuice right there, right? You say best friend and he shows up. There you go. Uh, where we go? Athena says, cloning Josh Keck to be at every court. Whew. Can you imagine 130 of me? <laughs> insert uh, <laughs> insert <laughs> Twilight Zone music here. This world would be so positive. Alan says, not me. Tony Spasato. Oh, all right, doing all doing right, everything right. she can do to try and earn that pro spot. I mean, I don't, I don't take bribes. I don't take favors. You gotta earn it the right way. Sixteen to seven here. So uh, get out and throw. Should be here, right? What do I tell everybody that complains to me? Shut up, you idiot. No, get better. Oh, yeah, that too. Either that oh, or uh, what is going everything's going to work out. It's going to be okay was your theme for this week. <laughs> it's, 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 and what, it, everything worked out. Guess what? Well, technically, we haven't had a broadcast I'm yet. I'm right. <laughs> Could have a complete meltdown. I'm a psychic, though, so, oh, my goodness. That is insane. How? I don't I just don't understand. Watch it's this. Flow, man. Watch it's this. the flow. This is why you no. can't shoot bags. You don't have the hair. Didn't even touch that surefire. I mean, you look at all the great players right now. Justin Me? Burton Jr. Oh, hair. Yeah. Ryan Wienfeld, hair. Oh. Noel Monza, hair. I mean, that explains a lot. You're out, man. You're on the outside all looking right. in. All right. Great tournament directors have no hair. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> okay. Now Monza asking for the step out to go into it. Is it getting warm in here, Wally? I've been hot the entire day. I was waiting for this great air conditioning to kick in that they were talking about. I asked him to turn it down before we started today. He was like, yeah, I got you. I don't know if it's just all these smutty, smutty, smutty? Smutty buddy. Sweaty, smelly bodies in here. It's a good back block. <laughs> Again, lay up or you can shoot it. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. <laughs> My advice, throw the bag within those 12 seconds. That one's off the back, and I think that is going to do it. Plus four, making it 22 to seven. And send us to a commercial break, Keck. All right, laters. Good job, buddy. <laughs>
Heyo, and welcome back, back, back. Got Wally Castler in here. What's up, Wally? We got uh, nine teams left here in this blind draw. Wally just counted it out. Or yes, eight. he can count that high, believe it or not. Or eight. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> we got Ryan Wiedenfeld, La Landon Crabtree, taking on Justin Lane Lang. I can't talk. What is it? And Owen Kirk. Crick. Crick. So we got uh, Wiedenfeld and Crabtree. We're taken down to the loser's bracket early. Not that early, though. Five spot off the rip. From Tony Rinaldi and Chris Wagner, drop them down. And then uh, Lang and Crick got knocked down same round by Vanessa Fillingham and Brent Francis. Got Steve Schrader responding to Athena's clone conversation. He says, no. <laughs> That's his worst nightmare. <laughs> One Josh Keck is enough. This is true. This is true. Or as Anthony would say, facts. I don't think the world could handle more than one of me. So, um... Mm -hmm. The board is pretty scattered here. What? Yeah, the board is scattered. <laughs> I thought you said the board is scared. I'm like, why? I mean, it looks like it's scared. <laughs> Nothing wants to go in the hole, so... I you the board is scary. <laughs> I was like, I don't get this joke. You're not supposed to get oh, the joke. Oh, man. Evening from the UK. What up, Daniel? Daniel? Daniel. Daniel. Is it still Daniel? I don't know. I need to get over to the UK and do some more research. Well, they don't really say their consonants, only their vowels. So it's I. <laughs> no? All out. All out. So, Wally, can you tell me how blind draws work? Uh, so everyone has to wear a uh, cover over their eyes. A uh, band of Dana is usually helpful, and then they draw a name out of a hat, and that will be your partner. And then you make a bracket from that, and then you play in a double elimination tournament. I mean, what if every single person drew their own name? How would that you, work? I think you should do a blind draw where if you win, you go to the second round, and then you draw for new partners again. That's got to be easy. It's kind of like a swap. But but you advance through the bracket. Um, so, you know, so each round in the bracket, you get a new partner. You know what I mean? Easy to do, huh? Yeah, no, that's not easy to do at all, <laughs> not Bob. Not allowed in auto assign <laughs> format. That's not even close. I had, uh, I seen a Matt Reif skit making fun of the UKers without pronouncing their consonants. It was pretty good. I do want to see if uh, we can land Matt Reif. Hopefully somebody's on it. Yeah, I think he's a little bit too big now, Bob. He's still DM me back. Oh, he did he? Shush. By the way, Amanda's here, guys. <laughs> hey, back. Amanda. What's up? Did he really? Yeah, I'll show you. Can I have his phone number? I mean... <laughs> I didn't get that far. <laughs> what? Your cords are all tangled up. To What's going on? cords were. This is yours. Mine here. is... Oh. Here, I'm going to take mine off for a second. She is, like, oblivious to what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> what are you doing, Wally? <laughs> there we go. That's off my leg, man. Doing no awkward leg touches. Amanda handed me her phone and it's a black screen. Oh. <laughs> you see, this is that's the a, phone. That's He's, a great message, this Amanda. This is the phone he sent it to me on. I Did it die? I think it just died. Oh. IPhone? My phone wasn't dying. That's though. creepy. iPhone? Yeah. That's a great message to read, though. Basically, he uh, said he's super down. 
he's super now? And that he talked to his boy Shamar. So he where he needs to get into super hole if he's super. Well, Trey said we got him just next season. Oh. Why are you telling everybody our secrets? Everybody on Facebook already knows. How? I'm on Facebook. I didn't know. Because of Wally's post. What? I didn't know. No. I don't pay attention to Wally. I just said it'd be cool. It'd be cool if we get Landon. Landon? Landon. Crabtree? He's in trouble. No, it's not horrible. Nine five. All right, we got a game to call here. No? Yeah? That's why you guys are here. No, they, they want to hear us talk. All right, so what other events we got this week? We had high school doubles championship already taken down by Kansas City boys. Got some Kansas City boys here trying to advance in the bracket. And some intermediates. We got doubles tomorrow. Rounders at what time? Nine? It's on the website. Yeah, it's 9 a.m. What's this website you speak of? Uh, yeah, our intermediate blind draw, I believe, is done. Yep. We won it. Can you just put this on your screen? <laughs> Chinu Yang and Theodore Engine. Okay. And uh, competitive blind draw here. Ooh, we are in the championship game. You know how much first is in the blind draw? Yeah. 4,000. Four I think 600. Split? I think. Yeah. How deep are you playing? I don't know. Jeez. I guess I'll mute Josh's mic while he argues with the pros over here about payouts they're not even going to get. I mean. Sorry. Got distracted here. So we got our. Uh, Competitive blind draw in its championship game right now. Jamie Cravens, Jeremiah Breeze need to double dip Lauren Holland and Owen Engen. Wasn't there an Engen that won intermediate too? Yes. Did you send that to him? It was. <laughs> that would be amazing. What happened? Her phone was on the whole time. It was voice recording everything we said. She would have sent that to Matt Wright. That would have been great. <laughs> He'd have been like, what's a Wally? That's all he. Come on, I expect you to work a little bit better at that. <laughs> wait, wait, I don't know what I say. I expect you to work a little bit better at that. I didn't expect him to see the message at all. It was well, like I was just messaging to joke around, and then he was like, yeah, I'm down. It's really a 500 pound guy at the keyboard. And just keep going with it. Is that his I, official not, page or a fan page? No, that's his official. <laughs> oh, here we go. That's the problem with the it younger generation. It literally says I've been following him since 2017. The younger generation. That's not my job. Jeez. So, no, you really need to work more at it. Like, but that's not my job. I don't I don't know what else to say. Did you give Marlon the info? I've never spoken to Marlon. Oh, my I God. I can't even tell you what he looks like. Who's, who's doing and that? And I told Trey about it all. So I, who's swearing? Pros. <sighs> okay, no, seriously, I'll I'll get you Marlon's email. Send it over to Matt Reif. But I think he already has. That's what Trey was telling me. Well, then why didn't you include this in on this conversation that we were just talking? I was talking? just trying to. Just trying to confuse I, me. No, I said I told Trey. All right, so we might have a uh, Engen family taking down the competitive and intermediate blind draw here. <laughs> what was that? Yep, the oh, Engen. The engine. Engen. Engen. E N G E N. Engen. No, Engen. Engen. E N G I N. It's so hot. This is an E N. What's up, Ryan Trey? Broken, how you guys doing? Welcome in. Fifteen to nine. We didn't fill in the Crabtree. They were dying to get on the broadcast. Seventeen to nine. I said, "You want to go on this court? You got to throw canine bags." They elected not to, and they find themselves down seventeen to nine. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> you 
just imagine, Tony, if you make it as a pro next year and then Matt Reif will be in the Super Bowl and he wants to throw with you as your partner. Can you imagine? Tony who? It's Posado. Oh. I doubt she would call me her best friend anymore. <laughs> right. You quickly replaced. <laughs> Later. It's like that saying goes, remember, you're not ugly, you're just broke. Yeah. He's had a lot of work done. What happens he's if you're not, ugly and broke? He's not even real. I, that's exactly what I'm saying, Josh. <laughs> I have potential. That's why I was asking you. <laughs> oh. oh, you're insulting me. Get it? Oh, hey, just as you insulted them, they care. They're Ooh. coming back. What do you mean who? The people playing the so game. That's how I motivate my friends. Oh. Crabtree's like, I don't need those bags. I got my own. Amanda, you ever heard of Timmy Toucans? Uh, I've heard that once. He's a streamer who plays Warzone. He was known for running people over in an ATV inside buildings and being all crazy and wild about it. And for the win. He's got a huge following. Oh, Twitter. Right over the hole. Uh, TikTok, Facebook, all that, That's all that weird, stuff. because I know most gamers. Timmy Toucans. If you, if, if you see him, you'll, you'll know, yeah, look him Are up. Are you a gamer? I used to play Prop Hunt on Call of Duty religiously. I never played it, but I love watching it. I would like to play it. Uh, see, I, yeah, I found a video of someone playing, and then I just could not stop playing myself. Oh, seriously. Look up to me, two kids. I have his contact information, okay, do but the ACL doesn't want it because he's not big enough, not apparently. Famous. I think we need Mr. Beast. Or Mr. David Beast, Dobrik. yeah. David Dobrik. How about Spartacus or Chadwick? You know them? Stone Mountain. I thought you used to be a gamer. Sidetrack? <laughs> All the time. Okay, I've seen what he looks like, but I haven't watched any of his Hey, don't, stuff. don't, don't play it with your mic on. <laughs> 15 to 19, Landon and Ryan both struggling right now to with their minds right and get it is game. getting very humid in here that might have oh, Jenna already threw the hair up. a factor on the boards here I, didn't see that. I know the storm clouds are rolling in so. uh, mark i think we tried to get nelly i think that was another cost issue i think i heard that was nelly expensive there ain't no way dr disrespects can come play for <laughs> not a large chunk of change I don't know. One of our camera guys is very close with Dr. Disrespect. So. That'd be awesome. Though. David Dober. David? He's big in pickleball, but I say he would love it. Especially if it's something maybe for charity. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Beast would definitely do that. Oh, yeah. I think they've reached out to him and talked to him. Justin has one off the side of the board. He's got another one out of play. If we Wacker can go up and get this, they can get to 20. I thought his name was Weedenfield. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good chat, Bob. 13-7. 13-7. You're going to have... Yeah, we're going to have to be waiting. Hunter, no, Hunter Thorne, Shane Dodd oh, will be next. One. I guess oh, the winner of this, this one. Yeah, Hunter Shane versus this one. Derbrick would definitely try and buy the whole ACL Tesla. <laughs> I'm down. Find that. Wait. I don't want a Tesla. I just want my bills paid off. <laughs> my student loans taken care of. Pay for my daughter's dance, and I'm good. She's actually got tryouts tonight for next season. Oh, to the side, this could get interesting here. Crabtree in. One bag left to go here for possible two points. Good job on the other side there from Owen, inching it closer. Ooh, stepping out. Is he going to get it? Oh, he doesn't even touch it. This one's got to be in. He doesn't want to get caught chasing. And he oh, is that's off game. the back. That'll do it. Boom. Goes the dynamite. Again, man, sometimes yeah. chasing is not the answer. Plus three points, Wiedenfeld and Crabtree somehow escape out of that one. Take a quick commercial break, guys. Be back here in just a little bit.
Hello, hello. We're back. And she's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Just you available, not we. <laughs> oh, Amanda, Amanda, Amanda. Amanda, 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 show. I see this other game here, the other side of the bracket. Oh, we got Tony Vanessa Smith. William and Brant Francis, 16. Tony Smith and Jacob Reeder, 16 as well. That means they're tied. Yay, sports. Go, sports. You got to score to win the game. I can't do the voice as well as Bernie can. <laughs> that was my John Maddenism of the day. <laughs> Boom! I'm going to turn Amanda up a little bit. She's very quiet over there. She's closer. Just so she pulls her mic away. <laughs> She's like, is that you? <laughs> Close and personal. What? That's what I'm talking about. What time is the broadcast tonight, Wally? Seven o'clock Eastern Pacific time. Um. Okay. Meet you in the middle. There's two in the middle. We don't really count the it's even. We don't really count the mountains. Mountain. Mountains. So, Amanda, on this uh, journey in the ACL next year, we're going to some new locations, hopefully. Mm -hmm. um, trying to talk Josh into finalizing the deal with Hawaii to get us out there. Ooh. Where do you want to travel for the ACL if you had your option to go anywhere in the world? In the world? In the world. I don't know. You don't know? I mean, if I were to travel by myself, I'd go to Italy. <laughs> Like but by yourself, I don't really want to go like to Italy with the team or like by yourself. That, yeah, I don't want to go there and work. I was gonna, so. I was gonna invite you to Paris with me when I commentate. But Dennis going to Paris? Is she? Yeah. For the ACL? Yeah. Well, uh, how, how would you like it if I did this? Okay. If I booked Hawaii for an open, mm -hmm. but only the open people can go mm -hmm. because Australia was booked, but nobody was invited to go from the staff. So I think I'm going to do that for Hawaii. Just book Hawaii, and it's only the open staff. Yeah. Nobody else. Do it. Do it. Whatever that means. <laughs> She's like, wait, am I, am I included? Am I going? Yeah, or if am I'm I going, not? I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a little bit bitter about not being invited to go to Australia. Oh, so you're not allowed to go? Why? No, I mean, I, I'm going to still try and weasel my way in there. I think I might just go anyway. I just want to go back to Vegas. I love Vegas. Those are my favorites. I will tell you that Vegas is on the list. We're talking, yes. and we'll see. That's all I can say. Okay. Very special surprise if we do go to Vegas. Mm. Mm. Nope. I will be playing on Super Bowl. Oh. Nope. I get to choose my pro that I play with. Suddenly I'm a pro. I choose Wally. Oh, I mean... I would actually dominate in the Super Bowl. The so pro commentator. They don't want me. The pro Locked commentator the alongside the pro truck driver. <laughs> Ashley Brown wants to go to Knoxville. I am talking to them, Ashley. Chill. Ooh, phone down. Look, she can't be trusted. Oh. When they put their phone down like that, they're hiding something. Uh -oh. Then she takes your phone. <laughs> it's like, what you got on here? Sorry, we're, we're at the beginning stages of our relationship here. We'll work on it. We'll work on the trust issue. We got 4-4 here. Orange bags on orange bags. Orange bags is tied right now. We got some Ooh, orange bag airmail. Vortex debris taking on, I believe, the wizards. It could be sorcerers, though. I can't tell. They are BG brand. 
Oh. The RBG? Yep, yep. It's up to you. Great advice. I love it. These guys are actually exact familiar with each same other. Thing that Hunter did. Landon and Wiedenfeld play with each other quite a bit. As a matter of fact, once Wiedenfeld got eliminated from the shootout, he went over and played a cash game against Landon, and then they draw each other for the blind draw. So four Pretty points convenient. for Orange on that round. Just got real blurry all of a sudden. Video. Phoenix yeah. twice a year, all the tequila for Wally. Woo. It had a red Sheesh. button on it. Of course, it was a video. It's all right. I don't know. iPhone users sometimes like to get the uh, like the little four second clip and take the best part of it. You know, the best part of that was not in the middle. Where was the best part of it? In the kick. In the end. The outside. Oh, Nick, as much fun as I had out there at the whole nine yards, man. I don't know if I can do uh, twice a year. Atlanta indoors this time. Hey, stay tuned, Dustin Norton. Stay tuned. Bring it home to STL. I got you, Eric. Let's go. Did you see that Taylor Swift is in town tonight? Yeah, we heard. Are you going? Do not go to the city. Do you know how many semis she has on tour? How many? 95. That's just the stage and the, the, the sound equipment. Oh then there's also, I think it was 25 buses. Mm -hmm. Oh, they said people, like thousands of people already lined up yesterday for her merch. For merch. Yeah, yeah probably like eight semis just for merch yeah, each up. trip. <laughs> John Heitzman, what's up, brother from Cornhole Coffee? Got Amanda here on the microphone with me. Can we get her some uh, free coffee, brother? I love coffee. Oh, there we go. Hook her up, man. Oh. Let's make it happen. Excuse me? I'm I'm here Just too. No, okay. I'll stick with my black rifle. You want me to move everything? Yeah, that's She great. keeps taking your phone, Wally. <laughs> hey, that's that's trust. a sign. It's trust because you wiped it clean yesterday. My phone? Yes. No, I got that. Never mind. <laughs> Good blocker right there from Wiedenfeld. See if Shane can push through. Left-handed shot going right at it. Nicely done. All he fall goes, down. Goes in. We get a, a wash on orange bags. That's a wash. I think we really do need to put up some stanchions behind you just to <laughs> keep people away. Could be Jenna's job. Keep Jenna, push everybody Jenna's away. The bodyguard. Jenna, you stand there like this. Huh? She's okay, not paying you. attention. <laughs> <laughs> I said, just stand there like this. Okay. Be our stanchions. Yeah, yeah. Excuse, excuse she just me. Hurt herself. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled the muscle. Got hurt body checking the air. Who does that? <laughs> uh oh, Bernie's coming. He's kicking somebody out. Bye, no, guys. no, see, what, no, 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 Bernie, he's gone. He was done after the shootout. No, so screw that. He's not coming back. No, he's not coming back. Slick side push is off the back of the board. Yeah, he signed us off. He's like, all right, we'll see you guys later I, on tomorrow. I, I'm, I like, that. Uh, I'm like, wait, you're getting you. blind draw, though. All right, Team Nuts is in the chat now. We're going to have to be on our oh, best behavior. Okay. How hasn't she been banned from chat yet? <laughs> She's actually good. To be honest with you, T-Nuts has sayings, but she'll never put them in the chat. She usually private messages me them. Okay. And I'm like, yep, but a good thing you didn't put that in the chat. <laughs> Why are these cameras upside down? It's so you can see the bag flight. So whenever I push this, you get the bag flight. See? Oh, he messed it up. Oh, we're done. <laughs> Goodbye. 14 or 15 4. Dyslexic today. Round number nine. Good job. It doesn't matter in blind draws. <laughs> Just reading the screen. <laughs> 
She, sent, she finally has one comment about the match, and you just shoot her down. No wonder she doesn't want to say anything in the microphone. Why are you so stupid? Nobody said that. I was, I was just asking. Oh, sorry. Nashville 2024. Never been in Nashville. Oh, that's us yeah, Nashville. Yeah. Never been. I will tell you that I'm talking to Nashville and Knoxville. That would be okay. cool. Break out, would be good. break out my short shorts and it cowboy boots. It would be boots. just an open, though. So, I don't know. Would you go to opens? Or do you only go to broadcast ones? Uh, yeah, I only go to broadcast. Yeah, sorry. You're excluded, then. Make it a broadcast. That's like Hawaii. Nashville would it's probably only open. be open. It would only be an open. I'll talk to Stacy. And then you need to talk to Stacy about <laughs> Australia also. I don't care about Australia. No, I, well, okay, I do. Well, I can only do one thing at a time. Oh. Sticky side right there in front of Ryan, 16 to 4. Oh, he decides to go blocker. I could have bet money he was going to try and start rolling her going airmail. Is anybody complaining about not talking about the match again? No, not at all. Not at all. I usually go back to talking about Cornwall so I don't say what I'm thinking. I was trying to get myself well, that's back in the zone, you know? I'm just confused with all these orange bags. Just surprising because usually I'm the one that has an issue with this, but like I could actually tell the difference in the logo so it works. What is going on here? Chaos. Straight that's up a four chaos. four wash. I don't think there's one person in this match right now that's feeling great. Was it a seven seven wash? Sixteen to seven. Landon's first shot on the right side of the red zone. Robert Booker says, I live in Nashville. Come on out. Everybody can stay at his house. <laughs> well, they have a pretty big house. I threw in that last part. No. Oh. Okay. I see you, Landon. I see you, Hunter. Man, I would really like a drink right now. So as far as Nashville, I asked Kat to get me her contacts because she was in contact with a couple of the different venues. To help you see better? Uh, two weeks ago, and I still have yet to receive them. So I'm talking more with Knoxville right now. So if Kat can get me her contacts, so if anybody wants to send Kat a message and say, hey, get Josh the contacts for Nashville, Kat I who? will get on it. Kat who? Halbert. She's probably worried about her hubby. Wasn't able to fly out, you know? Two weeks ago, I asked. A lot of storms in Florida, apparently. Oh. Uh oh, that slick side is off the back of the board. Wiedenfeld, he's just rushing his shots right now. He needs to slow down. I think he's so frustrated, he's mentally checked out, trying to hurry and get over Whoa. some cash games. Uh, and that and was a, one? No, that was a uh, and. That was an and one. He went in. Hey, but he knocked his own bag off. Oh, was it his? No, it wasn't. Orange. It was, a BG. Orange. It was, it was an orange one. It was orange. Yeah, that was an and one. Let's take a look at it. That was an and one. See? That's his it, bag right there. And it knocks an orange one off. Yeah, that's not his. It's BG. Orange, orange. So it was an and. Mm -hmm. What? It's an and one. <laughs> welcome, okay? welcome to our commentating table, Amanda. Good shot from Shane is what I'm getting at. It, it was good. It's right, so a winner of this mat. Ooh, now we're going to have a break. Now we're going to have a break. Oh, no, they're on hold. Good job, Mike. So J.D. Sloan oh, and Corey Bauer no, will take oh. on Vanessa and Brent next. That needs to be on hold. No, he, they were ready as this game started, so he could have played that and have it done or have just a mini break and then start with this game. But now we got to wait a whole other game to be done. There's one, two, three, four, possibly five games left. But because Wally's commentating, there's going to be five games left. Double dip. Fuzzy camera. Well, all right, Wally, I'm going to call it quits. I got to go do a score bug test over with uh, Jenna, you're up. Oh, Jenna's on. It's so sad you lose, say you lose your bodyguard. She's, her muscles have to relax. She's got a nice, oh, I got the nice shirt, don't I? Okay, later, chat. 
Take Everyone it easy. Say bye to Josh. Be nice to Wally and Amanda. I'll be nice to Amanda. Nice Forget to Wally. Me. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> All right, back to this important match. We got myself and Amanda. We are the best commentators that are available right now. So this is all you get. And she's gone now, too. 20 to 13. It's so hard to scoot this chair on pellets. Wienfeld went for the roll. He lands low and misses too far to the left. I think Shane's off the back as well. Interesting decision right here, trying to keep the game alive, down 20 to 13. Wiedenfeld's got that bag sitting on the side of the board. I think it's probably going to fall. I think the shot right here is air mill, but you got to hit it. Might even be able to get a drag out of it. He went for the roll. Instead, it sits on the back of the red zone. I believe all Shane has to do is push through. And he will get that collect. That's going to do it. Shane Dodd with a nice push through to finish that one off. Send us to break Amanda. Goodbye.
All right, ladies and girls, boys and gentlemen, welcome back to court number one here in Ramsey, Minnesota. ACL open blind draw action. K9 oh. back with the burn. What is up, my man? Oh, man, we're chilling, dude. We're having a good time. I had to come back over and do something. My brain, I was so tired. Dude, we were, we were having too much fun. We kind of got away from actual cornhole comments. Content, so. content team got you away from the game? Yeah, Amanda, it's kind of distracting, you know. Yep. And then Keck, who knows what rail he's on. <laughs> but now nah, we're back. We're having fun. Oh, here comes Keck. No, Pretty talking, girls will do that to you. I wasn't talking bad about him at all. All right, I'm making my phone back now that you're here. Yep. She was all in my phone, too. Yeah, I don't think I can really let stuff. people get all in my phone. Stuff back. Is Tony Smith still in? I believe he just lost. Yeah, they lost to uh, Vanessa and Brant. Wow. Who was he playing with? Uh, Jacob Reeder. Looks like. So he lost that one close match. 20-something to 17. 22-17. Do have to charge my phone, though. So sorry, chat. I'll be back. It's kind of weird, man. It feels like... Uh, Different. It feels like it's a different time zone because we're so early in the day, but we're really not. We're really not. Just, we just kind of flew through the uh, the shootout portion. Uh, I didn't know that's what that's. I thought this. I misunderstood the can. What? It says zero carbs, zero sugars, 100 calories, GF. I thought that was for girlfriend, but apparently it's gluten free. Oh, no, no, can't, no. Can't get girlfriends in a can, Bernie. You cannot, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, let's see how this tastes. What is this? I don't know. I'm drinking cranberry vodka cocktail, apparently. Okay. That sounds dangerous. Huh. Surprisingly good. Surprisingly good. Is there good. an energy drink anywhere in this building? Yeah, you think? they got Red Bull over there. Do they really? All right, that's awesome. That's good news. I'm not going to lie, I did not have high expectations for this drink, but they didn't have any Crown Apple over there, so. Wow. So I went this route. But not bad. Doesn't surprise. 2000 start here. It seems like we're just getting a whole bunch of KC people on the live feed. So there you go. Two more right here: JD Sloan and Grant Francis. So since I'm late to the game, Wally, who are you liking in the uh, blind draw? Have you seen a team that's like, man, they're they're stacked? I mean, I'm still I'm still liking Hunter and Shane. Shane has been throwing pretty bad, and they're still winning. Uh, um, so I think if Shane can throw anywhere close to his game. He, he was pretty close in the qualifier. Well, last they year. they lost to Noah and Matthew. Yeah, that was on the broadcast court here. I mean, that's their first time on the broadcast court. You know, mm. so. Well, they're still there. They're waiting on uh, – who are they waiting on? They're waiting on the winner of this match. Okay. Yeah, but I think that uh, – I think I like that squad to come out and, you know, do the two games. Noah and uh, Matthew didn't throw that bad, but I did see some holes in Matthew's game as far as, um, you know, putting back blocks in play. So I got you. That could hurt. To be honest with you, what I would probably do is I'd probably line Shane up against Noel Monza and play that game. I got you. I think whenever you put Noah and Hunter on the same side, they're going to goof around and have kinda, some fun, where yeah. Shane, Shane will step up against his better competition. Pat McBeth in the group. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Pat McBeth over here. I haven't seen him in a long time. Another Casey guy. Talking. Interesting last name. Yeah, right there next to me. New baby. Either No, yeah, new baby. Like last month. Life changes, man. Hits you fast. Right between the eyes. He's about to be, he was on the verge of being a pro as well. And then, uh, surprise. <laughs> I saw Vanessa's post about, uh, I guess somebody thought that she was giving attitude over one of her losses. And, she made a long post about it, basically saying, look, I'm just competitive. Like, whenever I'm mad, it's not mad at my partner or an opponent or anything like that. Just I expect to win every time I play. Just, just mad. Just let me be mad for a little bit. I, I have no problem with that. Yep. <clears throat> She's like, I have never, nor will I ever <laughs> get mad at my partner. Crazy how bright that one door is over there. Like, right? <laughs> yeah. it's, like a, it's like the sun's right there. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie, man. I figured coming up north, like I expected cold. You know, I don't think in Minnesota, like right? the last time I was in Minnesota, it was negative 14 degrees. So <laughs> that's burned in my head. I, yeah. Well, I, I looked up. You know, I looked at the weather. And I was like, that can't be. It's not gonna be 90 degrees plus every day. 
that uh, yeah. the rain tomorrow doesn't... Uh, I'm, I'm sure it'll cool down. off into the 80s. Oh, I forgot I had my phone plugged in. That was almost bad. Oh, I forgot what work I got to do. Four o'clock. Yeah, I got plenty of time. I'll upload the videos here. That way I don't have to worry about doing them when I get back to the apartment or hotel. Brant got a little unlucky with that roll. Mm -hmm. The dreaded 4-4 wash. You know, Vanessa doesn't have, like, long nails, but I don't know if it's on her throwing hand or not. I can't see. That's actually an interesting point, like, Wally. I just, I don't, know, I don't know how they do it, man. I, would, I cannot I, stand having, like, this pinky nail right now is yeah. long, and I, I can't stand having that touch on the back. Yeah, oh, that's an interesting point. And I don't throw it how, like, she's throwing it. She's throwing it with that grip, you know, like, yeah. the, right in the middle of the, the bag. She's almost got it. I guess the middle and index finger, those nails would get in. And the thumb. No, I can't really get a good look. Maybe it's not on all her fingers. I don't know. Well, I was going to wonder. I wonder if women uh, cut them down short on their throwing hand. I have like this nail thing anyway, though, where it's like if I hear the nail scratching somewhere, I'm like, Ugh, you know. Yeah, I'm not big on having nails. Just the sound of it. Uh oh, taps in the wrong bag. You know, every time I've seen Corey play, I've been pretty impressed with Corey. Kind of surprised that he doesn't have deeper runs more often. I think there's just, you know, players on that level, is, they're so talented, but there's that one or two rounds, right? And it's just hard to make up for it. And then they start pressing. I wonder if we're going to see more of Brendan Ballard or not. I haven't seen him in a while. I mean, he kind of makes an appearance every now and then. Mm -hmm. I believe he's PDC this year, if I'm not mistaken. I believe you're correct. But uh, I haven't really seen too much. He's open. You've seen everybody. You've seen all the opens, Wally. I've been everywhere, man. Wally's been everywhere, man. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can remember those cities and somehow put it into song. That'll be my opening act for a, the awards, the Stevie Awards ceremony. Stevie's. Hey, do you see I'm doing the Stevie Awards? I could have gave you your Iron Man Award. <laughs> yeah, except for, <laughs> get this. Yeah, he was, he was in contention with Tornado last year, so he went to, I think it was like six less tournaments across the country <laughs> than Tornado did. So he, he missed out on that award. And then, like I said, the baby happened, so he didn't do it this year. Stevie Awards. I can't wait to watch. I'm going to be front row center. Sorry in advance for letting you down. Nah, man. Front row center. I'll be laughing. JD leans back when he throws. It's interesting. the edge there Even we go on the edge it's weird it's got to be a glitch in the system a glitch in the <laughs> matrix <laughs> all right so they're up 11 to nothing but uh cory is in great position to finish things off here <laughs> look at all these uh, rubber pellets that we're getting by our feet here yeah. we're gonna have to just picking up these yeah i'm thinking about getting a cardboard box so we can at least roll you know yes can't move these chairs on rollers on this carpet. Ooh, she's able to tap one in, but she's going to finish off with a six. Let's see how aggressive Corey wants to get. Staying on the board, taps oh, in the wrong wow. bag. I think he was going for a cut, but didn't have any tilt or the right angle on that. So have you seen many players throw like JD, where it's like a like he leans backwards when he throws on his yeah, release? I got, a, I got a couple of buddies that throw like that. I mean, I think it's like with JD, it's uh, I think a shoulder thing. I got you. He wants to keep his shoulders lined up, so he 
Doesn't have any movement, basically kind of leans back to keep his shoulders parallel with the board. Right. Pretty solid shot, though. Made some great strides in the last year and a half in the KC area. He's he's one of these guys who's pretty much, you know, running leagues and taking them down. And huge help out there with Clear Creek and Magnum across our way here. So the boom in KC has a lot to do with uh, the tournaments he puts on. So. Ah. Good on him. He's a good dude. Love his mom. Love Wilma. Wilma, if you're watching, I miss you, baby. Shout out to Wilma. Wilma's great. She's still slinging bags in the 70s, I believe. Wow. Good for her. Yeah. She's awesome. Best saying ever. Awesome on purpose. <laughs> See if Vanessa can find that center lane again. Opportunity to do it right here as that bag is now out of play from Corey. Bag yep. number two skips right over the hole. Good bag. That's the line she wanted last time. Can't be afraid to use your opponent's bag sometime as a bumper. Just go sure. right into it. I mean, I love... I love the side-by-side -side block because of that, but she's going to miss again on bag number four, so two more points. Wow, six straight. All of a sudden, we got a game. Off to the side. Good collect. Yep, good shot there from Brant. Angles that one, stays center lane. Got Justin Lane saw some autographs over Man, here. Man, it's all autographs all day. Famous. I'm wondering if the uh, kids have made their way back over here. They were playing there yesterday, and I think they had like a soccer term or something. And Keck was like, "Hey, you know, we'll get some pros in the building tomorrow." And some of the kids' eyes. Well, oh, they got yeah, they got a summer camp going on over there. I saw some of the parents picking up. I'm hoping that the pros did show up though for the kiddos and sure. sign some autographs and make it fun. I think that's kind of cool. I've seen a few autographs. One thing that they're usually pretty good about is. Uh, Spread the love, so spread the joy. So. Spread the love. A oh. little short, still in play. With authority. Mm -hmm. All right, here's the shot, though. He's setting himself up. Bag number three. He gets it on bag number three. Good shot. Here's the hard part now. Bag number four. Wide open. All he's got to do is go in here for two points. Nine times out of ten, I'm missing this bag. He's able to finish, though. 13 to 8. Nicely done. JD will get first throw here in round number 13 as we go back down right to left. Got some more of the Mong Cornhole people walking around. Again, a pretty cool blind draw they threw last night. Airmail got over $1,000 a bag. I like how they do that, too. They had to spin the wheel to determine what type of airmail shot you're taking. Either 40 feet, uh, turn the board backwards, normal airmail. Um, can't remember what the other one was, but you got the board flipped around, so you turn the board around. Shot the airmail. It's a shorter airmail. I don't think anybody hit it, though. But pretty cool idea to mix up the way you do your money shot challenges. Ooh, big bag. Speaking of airmails, there's a good hit right mm -hmm. there. Some, no, that's right. It's an awkward double knuckles. I don't know. Was what that, that what that was? Too many knuckles. Team to 10, Vanessa offering some words of encouragement down to Brent Francis. Let's see if it works. Well, it was 11 nothing. So that's completely different. Game is flipped on a, on a dime.
Hmm. Yeah, I think I might be right there with you, though, with the energy drink thing. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to jump back on it. Get on it. No? That's why I'm, that's why I'm not a DJ. If I, well, I, I didn't. Well, I, sorry, I got kind of lost. I can't in, get you hyped up. I got, I got lost in thought there. Never mind. I was thinking about all the caffeine I've already had today and how tired <laughs> I actually am. We actually got time to drive back to the hotel and take a nap. Well, that's what I was like, man, why do I not have a rental car? <laughs> Always borrow Jeff's. Right? Let's get back block. It's probably too late now, 4.30. I think I could land on those and ride it in. You know what she's trying to do here, Bernie. You think? You know what she's trying to do. Yeah, the short airmail. She'll take a time out to Just look at it. Don't do it. <laughs> she said, don't do it. I mean, idea. one of them might go in, but one of them's going off. And the other one's just going to be sitting right there. I had I gave you one assignment, Daniela. All you had to do was win your shootout, right? And then we would have interviewed you too. I said, "Be so good." And then and then in good running doubles. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Kimberly made it. Kimberly will be there. Kimberly's broadcast. She loves the broadcast so much. She had to get back to it. Kimberly Glass. <laughs> It's no different. It's 27 feet. That's right. Airmail up top. Oh, almost got See, it. it almost, almost worked. worked. That was a great attempt that there. It really was. Vanessa. Hit it at the right angle, too. But hey, 13 yeah. 12. Wow. Yeah, a 12 yeah. 1 run. A 12 3 run. 12 2 run. Can't do math. Sorry. No need to. No need. The broken. See. Brain's broken. Use your imagination, chat, on what the score was. Uh oh. Interesting decision there from JD to put that blocker in that position on the board. <laughs> Brent taps it in, kind of cleans it up a little bit. JD with a nice back block. Will Brent get aggressive? He does not. Pushes right into the pile. That's a good shot. Airmail here from JD if he wants it. Oh, he just wants to block. Says, don't touch Check anything. There. It's got to be low on the board. That way it takes away that push. Yeah. It's a little bit higher than he wanted. Now Brandt can just tap into the pile. Hey, how about that? Actual what? advice from a partner in a blind draw. There you go. She said, I think if you shoot it or you... Never mind, Bang. just shoot it. And that's what happens. You take the doubt out of the way, then you can execute shots like that. Great coaching there from Vanessa. Great shot from Brandt. Making it happen. Good bag. Execution has to be there. I felt like they were bleeding and bleeding and bleeding, so let's see if that's uh, a momentum changer back in their direction. Yeah. Whose bags are they playing with? I believe. Are these wow. the Buffalo? I believe these are next Buffaloes. Could have a lead change coming up right here, Wally. No, it's going to have to go get it. Big bag. And he gets it. Ooh, knuckles before the round. Yeah, early right? knuckles. Early knuckles. Bang. All right, big shot for the lead change. Oh, and he left it. Wow. The fourth bag yips. Yipsies. What's going on out that back door? <laughs> <laughs> Party out there, apparently. Yeah. Got Devin Harbaugh doing a wardrobe change out there. Man, so. stuff's going down. It's going down for real. What up, Billy? Welcome in. All right, chat. I am back. Phone's charged a little bit. I am ready to roll. 
15-14 here. Pretty good match, 17 rounds in. I think there's been a lot of missed opportunities and sure. um, some bags just kind of left out there. But We've also had some pretty good shots and good strategy play. That's a great bag. It's that deep landing spot where you let the rotation of the bag do the work for you. Use your opponent's bag to help spin you back in. Good shot there from JD. There's another one. And that's clean. Big round there for JD. Uh -oh. And that one being hung up. To six. Wow. 20. Put him on 20. Wow. This match completely changed. How about a 20 to four run? It's not bad. Not too shabby, but they're not done yet. First back here from Corey is in. Mm -mm. Trouble. Got Magnum over there on the sideline. He's uh, sitting next to Shane Dodd, another Clear Creek Cornhole guy. He's going to be torn next match. He's going to have to choose JD or Shane. Who are you taking? Hmm. I'm going to put him on the microphone and make him choose between his best friends. Yikes. Violence. Chooses violence. <laughs> he says, I can hear you. <laughs> He's listening to us. <laughs> Soft on that one. Low on the board. I would have liked that slick side personally. Yeah. Just go ahead and take the collect now. Back See. block right here uh -huh. could do the could be the game. You know, could be the difference in the sure. round where she had a chance to even score. There it is. Now she's got to hit a ridiculous airmail just to get those same exact two points. You know. Mm -hmm. Big shot going up. Oh, that will not go. And that's gonna do it. JD Sloan, Corey Ballard. Moving on. It's all you, man. It's your world. <laughs> I was waiting. Yeah, it's all you. It's your world. All right, Chad, we're going to go take a quick nap. Be back in about two <laughs> minutes. Some more blind draw action. We're going to get JD and Corey Ballard against Hunter Thorne and Shane Dodd. See you in a few.
All right, chat, we're going to come back a little bit early. This match is underway. I talked to my boy Steve Burton is set in to join me. What's up, brother? How we doing? How good, we man. Doing, Having a good time. Let's see. Let me get my next commercial queued up. That way I don't accidentally go in. But, yeah, we're having... Having the final four teams left here in the blind draw. Got Hunter Thorne and Shane Dodd taking on J.D. Sloan and Corey Bowd. Winner of this one plays Austin Waskow and Ryan Franson. Okay. Sitting in the king seat, we've got Noel Monza and Matthew Hanson. Is that Manson? Hanson. Matthew Hanson? Franson. Okay, that threw me off. Franson and Hanson. Franson and Hanson. But 2 nothing start. What, what just happened to Noah? Or not Noah, Hunter. Hunter, Hunter yeah. He's dying over here. Somebody, somebody must have dropped something, if you know what I mean. Both of them, both of them covering up their noses. Oh, fun times. You never know what you're going to get at a Cornhole tournament, man. I'll tell you that much. So let's just get right into it. Who are you liking tonight? Tonight, oh, in the shoot, let's see. We got broadcast. We got Kimberly Glass taking on Cameron Bell. I'm going to go with Cameron there in that one. I'm going to go Cameron, too. Cameron, uh, the last time she made it against Junior Mirrors, had to switch her bags. I do believe Kimberly is the higher seed, but I think she's throwing blue bags. And Cameron was throwing white bags. So I don't think that's going to be a color issue. I think she should be good there. In the men's, we got Gavin Connell against Jimmy Humans. That's I like what I'm saying out of Gavin, but I, I got to go with Jimmy there in the singles. But in doubles, um, this should be a fun one, man. Logan and Justin taking on Fisher and Gavin, I believe, right? Mm-hmm. My pick to win originally was Justin and Logan. I think I'm going to stay there. I like what I'm seeing out of Logan Chamberlain lately. Heard he was getting a little... He's getting churchy little, now, little man. Churchy. It's almost to the point now where it's like you're kind of confused. Okay, is it still friendly? Like the first couple times, it was friendly. Like, yeah. I don't know if we're staying friendly there. Fair. Yeah, I'm all about oh. having some rivalries in this sport, but I still make sure it stays friendly yeah. and fun. There's a line. It doesn't need to be crossed. I think he's going to escape out of that one. They're taking a look to see it. JD says, hey, they're done. Trust me, they're done. I've, I've looked at it ostensibly. Wow. You're done. Wow, wow, wow. Two to one. So we got Viper R's going against the Vortex Debris. Shane will fire the first one off to the side. A really low on that block. He does have a tendency to chase some bags. Let's see if he steps out and goes slick side or if he's just going up. Smart play right here, just going back block, but he's off to the side. Do we know where these two gentlemen are from? They're both from Kansas City. Okay. They play together and uh, play in leagues together, both uh, rocking the uh, Clear Creek. Shout out to uh, Tim and Donetta, Parkway Service Center there. They do work on my car. That's super cool. That's cool. Good on them, but uh, yeah, they throw together in leagues pretty Ooh. much every day. Very familiar with each other on the right-hand side. We'll shoot it again. Is Hunter actually California? Hunter's California, right? Hunter is Cali, yes. Yeah, so Hunter and uh, Corey both from Cali, so. Oh, when he knew. What a small world. Good shot, JD. Uh, Hunter says, is Cornhole coming on TV tonight? If so, what time and on what? Oh, uh, man, I had that a second ago. The, Bernie's been saying it all day. I think it starts at uh, 8 local. Eight local on ESPN. I'll find out for you, man. It's always on eight American Cornhole League. That's usually where I go back to find it. So I got American Cornhole League. I scroll down. I lost it. Taking a time out here. Look it over. I like it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, pro shootout number six finals, eight o'clock Eastern time. So seven o'clock local on ESPN to Super Bowl prelim number six right after that. It'll be fun. Yeah, you still living with Windsor? Yes. Still living with Windsor. Let's go. How's that? Uh, still uh, practicing on a regular basis? I mean, I, I can't. Can. Yeah, I can't ask for. A better throwing partner than Ryan Windsor every day. Very fortunate. Oh my goodness, I thought wow. he got it a bowl. So did I. I was like, this is a push coin slot? You gotta be kidding me. But he is able to get one to fall. The other one's sitting there on slick side. I don't know if it's gonna go. 
There might be a little bar of soap here. Ryan actually is in the Super Bowl tonight because yeah. Tanner couldn't make it. Yeah, there you go. So that's pretty cool. So he's all wifed up now, too. Mm. Oh, oh, my goodness. What a shot. Okay, Corey. I see you. Wolf on the try. And he's off the back for five. Enjoy. Bernie's back. Bernie's back. Let's take a look at the shot. One mo again up top. Big hit gets bag. them all. Wow. Uh, Matt Hansen's in the king seat. But yeah, um, yeah, I missed you on the game, man. We still haven't played a game of Warzone yet together, dude. We gotta. We're gonna get there. We gotta get together and get it. I'll be honest. I I fell in love with that's Defiant. Defiant, huh? Yeah. I haven't played that one yet. I don't even have much time to play Warzone, to be honest with you. I'll be driving to Detroit basically eight hours after I land <laughs> Monday. Yeah. So I'll land Monday, go right to bed, wake up, and hit the road and head out to Detroit. I'll be doing blind draw coverage at One Eye Jacks on Wednesday and Thursday. Danielle Luna has a pros with a Youth Cornhole Association tournament. So I saw that. It's going to be kind of cool. I don't get up there till Thursday night, or I would definitely come to the the two spots up there they throw weekly. I always wanted to check it out. Yeah. Yeah, one eye jacks will be a fun time. And then um, great shots. Jim Alves will be going to the tournament as well. And then they got the USA Cornhole stuff going on, too. It's, it's going to be a jam-packed weekend, man. I'm hoping that we have a really, really good crowd for the broadcast. National number four, I mean, there's a lot on the line. Yes, you obviously is. scratched your first national. How are you and uh, DK doing for national two and three? I haven't really had a chance to follow you guys too We're closely. We're doing, we did all right. We did seventh in bracket again. Obviously. So two sevens? Two sevens. That's good, man. It's good. Um, yeah, looking forward to, looking forward to this next one. So every time we throw, I feel like we just get better and better. Yeah, so to update, the man, he is wow. he's hitting all the shots right Corey now. Is, Good rodeo right there, riding him in. Hunter now, slick side push, gets one to fall. The other one kicks off to the left. 16 to one. Wow. But yeah, so this is a very important national for you guys. You want to put yourself in good position going into Worlds. So Worlds has double points, right? Mm, I thought it was just and Worlds. Is it and Worlds? I think okay. it was and Worlds. Oh, there's Brennan. Speaking of double. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so yeah, and Worlds, but you can't drop Worlds, right? No. Okay. I think Worlds counts regardless. Okay, so, yeah, you basically want to put yourself in a good seating so this next national is going to do it for you there. Yep. Especially with the first national just oh, century gets dropped. It looked like Brennan Ballard, didn't it, for a second? It did. It's not? No. <laughs> thought, oh, it's not. <laughs> I was like, okay, there we go. <laughs> he stood up, and I'm like, wait, that ain't him. It looked just like him, dude. <laughs> Isley in the chest says, big burn set. How are we doing, Mr. Isley? 16 to 1 here, trying to finish things off. Keeps hitting shots like that. Should be in good shape. But yeah, man, it's be it's important, man. Hopefully, you guys can do at least seventh or better. I'm Appreciate it. I like the pairing. Didn't really get a chance to see him earlier. He was throwing with Caleb, right? Uh, he was throwing Caleb with Batson. today. Yes, today. Yes. I don't. Yeah, I don't know how well they did. I think they lost second round to. Team that was just on fire. I don't remember. Was it JBJ and Logan? Gosh, no, I can't remember. It's so crazy how quickly my mind loses itself. Like, same. These tournaments all just run together. It's like, here I'm thinking, okay, we're at open number 14. I'm like, dude, I remember Virginia <laughs> Beach, like December 3rd, like it was yesterday. Mm -hmm. By the way, another great shot by Corey. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think there's anything here. He doesn't have anything on the ground, does he? He does not. I think just go for it. I don't, I don't want to risk tapping him in again. You just did it last round. Yeah. He's hitting all his shots. Getting out of this with the wash could be a win for you. I might be thinking bar of soap. Same sticky, sticky side. Oh. Hmm. Stays on for the wash. That was way deeper than I think he wanted it. Corey's playing with Joe K this weekend. That should be fun. Really? I do like that I've seen Joe K play with like a lot of different people. Like Joe K is at the top of his game right now. He is. I like I like whenever players don't let their heads get too big. 
Yep. Like you see Harbaugh thrown with uh, Vincent Frisch during the season and kind of mixing up with pretty much anybody who asked him. And we asked him whenever we interviewed him on our show. We're like, so how'd this come about? He's like, oh, he just asked me. Anybody who asked me if I'm free, I'm throwing. That's awesome. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I just want to check with my partner to make sure they're not going to be there, and that's the right way to go. And then that's how it should be. free throws. Harbaugh owes me one. He said, we'll get it together next year. So I'm like, all right, cool. I actually got like five or six pro, like elite pros that are willing to throw with me. So I'm like, if I could actually find time to throw at these things, I could. Got to find I time. I could get some good points. <laughs> Can add me on that list. We'll run Let's one. Let's go, baby. Yeah, I don't really throw too much anymore, man. I had fun in the blind draw. And, like, the cool thing about it is whenever I go to these blind draws, like, I don't throw great, but mm -hmm. I hit some shots. Like, people are like, sure. like, a lot of people are like, man, well, all these air mills are underrated. And I'm like, it's really uh -huh. my, like, my push yeah. is garbage. My blocker's decent. Okay. My air mill is pretty much where I shine. But okay. the problem is whenever I start playing better players, their air mills or rolls are right there with me. So... <laughs> I'm usually always chasing two, miss my push, give up five type situations. Corey finally misses a shot. But speaking of air mills, man, you were deadly at the last national. Yeah, I appreciate that. Talked to uh, Daniel Walker Jr. He was my partner in the blind draw yesterday. And he said that I guess Jamie's brother was keeping track of the air mills. Have you heard this? He said something it? earlier about it, but I was like warming up for singles, so I wasn't. Yeah, he said that you were throwing, or he, Jamie Graham threw 16 out of 20, and you threw 19 out of 20 in that match against him. Air Mills? Yeah. Wow. And I said, I believe it because I was going through and making a commercial, and then every, like the last three minutes of the commercial was you basically just going like, yeah, 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 like you're pumping yourself up. Yeah, the double fist pump. You're hitting every shot you're going after, so. I was like, I believe it, man. I got to the point where I was like, I'm not recording another Stephen Burns at airmail. Like, it's, <laughs> it's locked in, man. Just know what's going in. Well, I appreciate that. I thought I was going to do it, to be honest. I really thought I was going to double dip. <laughs> There's Brendan Ballard in the chat. Bro, I swear to God, Brendan, we had a guy signing a jersey right next to us. I swear. I thought it was you. It looked just swear. like you, dude. Then he stood up, and I was like, oh, he's tall. That ain't him. I'm not saying you're short. Just saying. Good shot. Good, good round back there. What up, Jimmy Humans? Ooh. Good luck tonight, brother. Yeah. Jackson going in the chat as well. Four spot? 19 no. Four. Just one. Just one. All right, so round number 13, it looks like. That one is out of play. Unless he gets a lot of help here from Corey. Corey should be able to finish it off here this round, right there on the edge of the red zone. Looks side, decides to take the points right now, and that's a smart play. Oh, wow. Might have accidentally helped himself, but another good shot right there from Corey. And, and that'll pretty much do it. Bow. Wow. <laughs> why not? Just Why End not just go way. ahead and lay it in? Taking the rest of the things in the good run, though, from uh, Shane and Hunter finishing fourth place. J.D. and oh, Corey gosh. will advance. We'll take a commercial break when we come back. We're down to the final three teams here in the blind draw in Ramsey, Minnesota. Be right back.
All right, chat. Welcome back here to Ramsey, Minnesota. Open number 14, blind draw, losers bracket final. Corey Ballard had to step away for a second, so they're going to go down and back quite a few times. Probably 400 if I know how things usually go and I'm ready to go get myself a little nap or something in. Although I don't think I want to go outside. I feel like it's just ridiculously it hot out there. It is a hot one. I think it said 87. 87? I think it was 95 yesterday, so I'll take 87. Ooh. Man, it's so hard to just kind of be eliminated and not throw. Like, that's the one thing about Cornhole that I love is I get done losing and I just want to go right back at it. I could play against you, Bernasette, for $1,000 and lose 21 to nothing and be willing to put down another $1,000 because I, I feel like I could win. There. Because I, I love this game so much and I know that it's, it's really easy. All you got to do is put a bag in the hole. 27 feet That's away. That's it. That's all you got to do. It's so easy. But we complicate it so much. We do. <laughs> Usually between the years. <laughs> Have you had any battles this year uh, mentally, like during the matches, where you feel like, you know, you just got to take a step away and kind of reset and, you know, regroup, or you feel like you've had a pretty good idea of Not your mental game? Not during the game, but the game that really took a toll on me was... Uh, Second national, 38 round game. I shot a 10-7 and I lost. iPhone. So, you know, what's uh, what percentage we got on here? Let's see. Let make sure. Mentally, after that, I was kind of 89. I was kind of drained after that one. But yeah. that happens at this at this level. Yeah, I was looking at Ryan Smith behind me. I have no idea how him and Devin could have kept up their skill during that, I believe it was a state match. Like 52 rounds, both thrown like around 11 or something. Oh, wow. It's just insane, man. That's something it's, I don't even fathom. It's, it's fun to watch or watch the videos when two elite are cooking at the same time. It's fun. Yeah, I remember, I mean, I'll never forget, like, first year calling matches, of course, Baby Goat and Matt Guy, 47 rounds. I remember that one. 63 four-baggers, I think, in that match, 47 minutes. Just ran out of stuff to say, but it was just entertaining, man. There's yeah. so many elements to that game. There was rolls, there was blocks, there was pushes, there were hangers. There was just, that, that game had everything. And I, I wasn't not, you know, I wasn't ready to look away at all. I was in it every step of the way. And I don't know if we'll ever get that type of viewership. I want to say we had like 1,400, 1,500 viewers. Like, wow. I'll have to go back and listen to it because I know I called it out. There was like one awesome shot that Baby Goat hit, and of course I made the wrong call on it. Yeah. And that's the that's the clip they decided to show. Of course. I'm like, man, but in that clip it had how many viewers we had, and I'm pretty sure it was like 1,300 at that point in the match. So That's crazy. This is awesome, man. That is awesome. I mean, we got to a thousand viewers here at the uh, doubles finals. In the second really? Ago. Yeah, that's so. cool. Not too bad for a Friday, man. No, not at all. Did you hear how many teams we got signed up for tomorrow? I did not. Okay. I think it's like 120 something, so not that much at okay. all. Kind of small. <clears throat> well, I think it might be 140. But yeah, we definitely uh, could have done better on the sign up levels, but all in all, I think it's still a pretty good field. I imagine we'll do two brackets for doubles, probably. Be live on K9 Unit for subscribers for the uh, rounders portion. Did sure, the math on it. Out. Nine extra hours tomorrow, guys, for the subscribers. Wow. So appreciate all the support you guys viewing, man. It makes it all worth it. Do you have a preference on time zones where you play? Central, Eastern, or anything? Uh, I'll say Central just because I've been on Central my whole life. Yeah. Eastern time's not that bad. It's it's kind of it's just different when you play West Coast. It's like yeah, West Coast is the one that kills me. Yeah, it's it's at some point it catches up to you. East Coast I feel rushed. Like I feel like like it's earlier than my body's used to. So it's like oh man, 
what's actually happening here. West Coast, I'm like, what do you mean it's only been 20 minutes? I feel like I've been here for five hours. Like, it just feels like it just drags, you know? Are you heading out to Vegas for the Bag Mania? I am not, man. I got hired to do another gig. I, uh, so I'll be doing the Badger Lane Bag Brawl, and then I'll be doing the Battle of the Queens. Battle of the Queens? Where's that? Uh, I think North Carolina? Okay. I think Charlotte, I think. I think I am going out to my first Yeah, they, they asked bag me. Mania. Somebody asked me to do it, and uh, I was like, I, I would have done it if they would have you know, told me about it. <laughs> I'm excited. <clears throat> There's a lot of people there, so I know yeah. I understand. So hopefully I can uh, go to the next one. In Vegas. I believe they, they did two, right? I think they've done two. Yeah. yeah. Well, two a year. Oh, they do two a year. I thought they did, but from what I understand, they're not doing the January one anymore. So I'm like, gosh, dang it. That's the one I was planning on going to. Ooh, good, good air mail. Okay. Clean. I see you, Ryan. <laughs> Human says West Coast time zone is literally the worst. <laughs> and now if we go to Hawaii though you ain't gonna be complaining that much I you? can't wait I just need I need the ACL to just say we're going so I don't procrastinate going to Hawaii yeah. just put an open there so I can go there so that's what I was talking to Keck about we're trying to figure out if we go there if we can do a broadcast there which would require a lot of moving yeah. pieces and if we just go there for an open which I think is the play because of how much we have to get now like if we do an open there and maybe, like, leave boards or something there for next time to come back and do a national, like, yes. that might work. But I feel like there's just way too many moving pieces to do a broadcast in Hawaii. But, yeah, I'm with you. Put it on the calendar. Let me book my flight. Yep. That way I can't – If it, even if it gets canceled, but, well, I have to go now. I booked a flight. Yep. Uh, Jimmy says – I even went to Germany nine hours ahead of West Coast. <laughs> Way hours ahead, and West Coast is still the worst. I would love to go to the, an open in a different country. I saw we're going to Australia. There you go. There, I found a tournament we can play in together. Then. <laughs> That's my mom's uh, like number one spot. She wants to visit for really? she. Yeah. Yeah, I want to go and punch a giant spider in the face. Punch yeah. a giant spider. You don't scare me, giant spider that can eat two people at a time. Well, they definitely scare me. <laughs> Did I just oh, another one. Okay, so Ryan's got an airmail. That's what we're I finding. see out. that. I'm pretty sure this is Ryan, by the way. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> so crazy we've seen Corey hit all those great shots, yep. and now he's in trouble. I think this is in for seven. I think so, too. Oh, that was deep. A little deep. It's still four. If this is Ryan and his shirt has his logo on the back of his shirt, I'm really digging that RF logo on the back of his shirt. He turns around and see it again. But mm -hmm. we'll take a, a lot of people go with, like, the shield, you know, and they mm -hmm. put their initials in the shield. I'm kind of like, come on, dude, do something different. <laughs> yeah. But I like his logo. Hopefully he turned around again. Uh, Jimmy says he's got 500 bucks on a spider. Get out of here, dude. <laughs> dude you, see me, you see me punch spiders, dude? I've killed every spot I fought. Good job by JD getting sneaky. Ooh. Trying to do it again. Too far oh, to the left. No. That was that situation there where you take that extra time to think about it, and you think about it, and I think in that situation, you think more about the miss than you do the make. Yep. You end up missing it to that be way. too perfect. So be honest with me. Are you a fan of the shootout round limited games? Do you like it? I do like it. Um, I think there's some tweaking that could be there. Can you elaborate or no? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that there needs to be... I don't think everyone needs to be in on the shoot. So, Fair. here's what I want to do. I'll go ahead and put it out there. And chat, tell me where I'm an idiot or if I, this is a great idea. But the PDC players, I think, need to be allowed to play in the shootout. Really? Because I don't really know what we're doing to develop these pros. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. It's not like we're going to hire you to go train a PDC player to get better. That's fair. One of the best things in Cornhole is if you want to get better, you play against better people. I don't want to allow them in the national bracket. Like, I like that they have to earn into it. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? 
So allow them to play in the shootout. In theory, they're not good enough to win, right? They should not beat a pro. Okay. If they beat a pro, they deserve it. They deserve to be there. Fair. Allow them to play in, but take basically take 32 people into the single elimination tournament instead of doing rounders, kind of do like a little play-in of some sorts based off of your professional ranking, which you know I can't really elaborate on that because we don't know how we're going to do the professional ranking next season. But yeah. allow the PDC players to get in there and do like the single elimination bracket where your professional seating actually matters. Rounders, I think, is kind of a waste of time. It's like... Come and play two games. Half the people don't even take it seriously. Yeah. Make make it something that that's is interesting. Serious, you know what I mean? And not only that, but I think that's also going to help increase the women's field. Because let's be honest, having eight women <laughs> or, or twelve women to play in a tournament that pays for the same amount as the men, I don't think that's right either. But yes. if you increase the women's field and make the payouts proportionate based on how big their actual divisions are. I think it could be interesting, not to mention it'll boost the female divisions. Um, I like that. Nate Boyer came in with a PDC or a women's qualifier, which, all right, you know, maybe. Yeah. I have to see what the women out there have. I'm all about it. Um, but, yeah, I think the shootout is a good part of the game, a good way to mix it up, especially for broadcast, being able to time out the matches and have it broadcast this way. I like it. But, yeah, I don't know. There's, there's got to be some other tweaks that could happen, too. I think there's, yeah, there's got to be. I just think the rounders part is what is the killer for some reason. I feel like the rounders kind of take the excitement out of you guys for it. it. Makes it longer than it needs to be is basically what I'm getting at. Yeah. And I think they do it just because it's single limb, right? Would right. you Would you like it? How would you feel we take away rounders and make it double elimination? So still, let's say, 10-round limited double elimination? Still round limited, but lose the rounders, play a regular tournament. I would like that if we still do the seating thing. Let's still do the... Yeah. yeah. I wonder if they would ever consider that. Yeah. The single elimination, uh, round limited is already tough. You, you might have to cap it if you do that. Cap it at as in signups. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Because if you're gonna if you're gonna do that, you might get more people signing up for it than which, usual. Yeah. Yeah. Which would. Oh. I mean, if we allow the PDC players in. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which I, I'm a big fan of allowing the PDC players in, unless there's a the bag. Unless there's a way to actually start developing these PDC players. Corey getting his phone and said he died. He's charging it. Yeah, he has, has to get his music back on. Are you? Are we able to say if the the number of PDC players this year is going up next year? Um, I presented a plan to Trey. Okay. Um, I don't know if he took it to the actual people that matter, if we're even close to that part of the season yet. But okay. I know it's in discussion. Fair. So I think it should increase personally, and I think they should. I I have a plan in place to. Um, Increase the number of PDC players and basically charge them the same fee if we allow them to play in the P in the shootouts. Mm -hmm. So now they have a chance to win more money, but they have to buy in just like you guys have to buy in. But the advantage of being an actual pro in a top tier, like maybe a top 50 pro, is you could be allowed a multi-year contract, which should help you guys out with sponsorships. Oh, you know okay. what I mean? So well, like, okay. give, so like, offer the top 50 players like a three-year contract or something, mm -hmm. and then give them a discount off of like the second and third year for doing like 500 bucks off you know something like that way to increase the payouts or maybe take the payouts from somewhere else i like that i got ideas man I got ideas. Uh, jay scott likes it jimmy says i like the double elimination no rounders it's interesting i, I just see too many people not taking rounders seriously is all it it definitely happens it does and it doesn't it doesn't feel like a real game like what yeah. what am i doing at that point like, I've heard two people today say, well, at least it's only rounders. <laughs> it's, yeah. like, it's like you guys can get here an hour early and just kind of talk with each other and <laughs> throw random airmails anywhere if you exactly. want. Exactly. So. Until the actual, until it matters. Yeah. I think you stay skinny here. I think you stay skinny. I don't know, man. He's in that airmail. Very true. And you know how you like to shoot airmails. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. He's feeling <laughs> it. Got a little crowd. 
And not only that, but he stays in uh, Corey's lane here. Very Look, true. Corey, make your bag for you, just like that. Oh, no. Corey's been missing his headphone music for too long with that phone being dead. He's in trouble. Oh. Did he try to lay behind her? Did he try to go? I think he was trying to go around it. Okay. Um, but almost looked like it was in between ideas. <laughs> Just came out really weird. He knows the second he did. He's got to get one here. Yeah, that's that's it. That's <laughs> deep. A little deep. All right. So rematch: Austin and Ryan heading back to the championship match to take on Noah and Matthew. Chat, talk amongst yourselves. What would you do to change rounders and shootout or PDC? Be back here in just a little bit. All right, ladies and girls, boys and gentlemen, it is set championship match here for the blind draw. Noel Almanza, Matthew Hansen, Austin Waskow, Ryan Franson. Noah and Matthew sitting in the king seat. Look down to the left-hand side. You see Almanza already rocking the Super Bowl jersey. He's got stuff to do. Yes, he does. Can he stay focused long enough? Invited to a cash game? Can I? Can I? Yeah, yeah. You're not required to be here, bro. <laughs> I appreciate you, man. Good luck, dude. <laughs> I appreciate you, Thank you, bro. You're good, dude. Enjoy. <laughs> All right, so I think they're starting things off on the right hand side. So I believe these bags are live. Anyone can play, anyone can win, so why not let them play? You literally advertise that to get more people to play, so why leave them out if anyone can play? Anyone can play? What are you talking about? You're talking about the opens? Or the Nationals. I mean, you got to have a pro division. If that's what you're talking about. But in the Opens, like, anybody really can play and anybody can win. I mean, there's no restrictions on where you can sign up. Yes, sir. You could collect right there from Austin. And they're on the board first, two to nothing. I mean, typical K-9 fashion. We're already going to game two. We already know it. Let's go ahead and just move them to game two, right? Oh, in the shootouts? No, shootouts are different. There's there's a lot of money on the line for the shootouts. That's a pro perk. Good bang, good bang. Uh oh. Slick side too far to the right. 
Ryan's going to step out. He's going to try and use that bag as a bumper on the back side. Didn't have enough on it. Attempt number two here from Noah on that slick side is able to get it to go in. Both players stepping all the way out. And for those of you that were joking around earlier, yes, these are three feet white taped on the ground. We measured them. Tied up two to two. Matthew, first bag off the back of the board. And Austin right on point. Off to the side again, turns backwards hat on. Backwards hat engaged. Let's see if it's a difference maker. Good adjustment it is. Recalibrated, you know what I mean? Continuing to fire bags down the middle here. Not only that, but the shootouts like today, if we let everyone play in the shootout, we would still be playing the shootout qualifier. And that you're, you're in jeopardy of running into times with the broadcast, especially when you go out to the West Coast. You have to get the qualifiers done to figure out who's going to make broadcast. Then you got to do your off-camera interviews and your little segments and stuff like that. And then get things ready. There's a lot of moving pieces that go into a broadcast, so... Oh, for the PDC players, yeah, right now it's not in the cards, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, open it up for PDC players to play in it next year. I mean, they're, t they're technically still pros. Hard push right in the pile. Gets two for one. I don't think Ryan's going to be able to come across and get that one, so Noah should be able to score this round. Seven to four. Matthew regains first throw. Again, off to the right-hand side. That time it does stay on the board. Got a little tap from Austin, but doesn't look like it's going to fall off the back. Struggle bus right now. Austin's not blinking. Bag number three is down the middle in. He's plus six. And the final shot goes in. He's going to finish the round with the six. Austin in the side hits the 12, takes six. 13 to four. Again, chat, we already knew we we're going to go to game number two, right? It's a canine broadcast. I always commentate. It always happens. King seat is never safe from here. Good blocker there to start things off. Noah immediate up top. Airmail hits it clean. Good push on the other side. Ryan, pretty impressive. So is Austin. It's a pretty nice random pairing. These guys are throwing very well together. Leaner here from Noah off to the left. Mm, he got hung up a little bit. Staying sticky side here on this push. All he's got to do is get a little bit of that corner. And he will land deep enough to get that corner. Nice shot there from Noah Almanza. Nicely done, plus two, 13 to six. Second chat. I hope that doesn't mess nothing up. Yeah, it did. All right. Had to get that off my screen. My bad. Good rebound round here. Fresh 
finishes off. Austin will go in right there, 13 to 8. Almanza maintains first throw. Almanza rethinks it, takes a step outside. Might want to get a slight bully or possibly go side by side. He's barely on the board. I don't think that one's going to stay there. Ryan stepping out. He's going after this. Sticky side, but does take one off the back. The problem is now he's still got to collect that same bag he was just going after. Noah's in better position. Now Noah's off the back. That allows Ryan to step back inside here and just try and go in. Noah wants to block, talking to his teammate. Looks like he agrees. Ryan could possibly go up top here for this airmail and wash it out. Oh, he lands short, almost got them all. Great attempt, but does not get the love. 13 to nine, Noel Monza escapes that with a point. Austin wants to play this. If he wants to go up top, he does, and he's going to hit it too clean. Doesn't get the drag, which is in great position. Almanza telling him to step outside and just go in. This is a damage control shot. Stayed slick side. He's off the back of the board. We got a chance to go up top here for the win. If he hits this air mill, it's nine up top. And he lands short on top of the bag. He'll only get four points out of it, making it 17 to nine. Had an opportunity. Right angle, didn't think he had enough loft on it. Taps the pile, one of each falls in. Almanza puts up a little blocker with one toe in the water right here on bag number three. Does not work, Ryan's able to push through it. And Almanza off the back of the board, that's gonna be three, making it 20 to nine. Here in game number one, your blind draw championship. Noah and Matthew in the lead. for the win, but he misses too far to the side. This back still got to be in, though, for Matthew. And it will be in to keep the game alive. Let's put a pin in that and see if that comes back to bite him. Walker right in front. 
And the side by side, but that might be out of play. Let's see if Ryan can generate one point out of this round somewhere. Just pat, push the pile. Just tap it in. Just tap it in. Wow. That bag looked like it was in the hole and then came back out there from Noel Monza. Unfortunate break. And again, just tap it in. Just tap it in. Somehow, Noel Monza hits that little gap. That's risky. He goes off the board there. He could have lost. Great shot. And he's going up top again, and he's off the back. That's going to do it. What a shot there, though, from Ryan to finish it off. Again, not much room here on this airmail from Noah. He goes up top, hits the right side, in it goes. And then a strong push here. Oh, I didn't get the end of it, my bad. But that'll do it for game number, what was that, one? Heading into game number two, typical K-9 fashion. Always going to game two with me on the microphone. Can't get away from it. All right, here we go. This is it for all the marbles, chat. Final game of the evening before we head over to the broadcast stage for the Super Bowl and Shootout Championships. Uh, Monza telling uh, Matthew, I would stay fast side if I were you. That's what got you here. Just a couple misses. You, know, you can't really focus on that. I can relate, though. I was throwing yesterday with Daniel Walker, and uh, I wanted to throw that sticky side of the Viper R so bad, and he just wasn't cooperating with me yesterday. So slick side was the play. Quick six spot, though, from Austin. Good blocker. Noah immediately goes up top for the airmail, then grimaces and scratches his forehead and just kind of confused. What should I do? What should I do? Right now, Ryan in command. Kind of an ugly release on that one, but does get the tap in. Almanza fires with the block. Check, got my phone charged. I brought you guys back in. This is game number two, six to one lead right now for Austin and Ryan. They won the first game. Noah and Matthew trying to finish up. Got a PPR request. Let's go ahead and take a look at it real quick. We got Austin throwing a 10.17. Not sure if this is game one or two here. I'm not sure if they update the stats or not, but 7.8.3 against an 8.8. Oh man, two bags on the ground for Hanson. to one. First bag is in there for Ryan. Good block right here from Noah trying to get something going. That rolled on him, but it's actually in decent position. Uh, Monza now kind of covers his block and pushes that one out a little bit. This is going to be interesting. Nice back block. <laughs> Ryan, not Ryan, sorry, Noah Short Airmail lands on the pile and just immediately takes a left turn off the board. It goes. One more block. Then on Monza up top again, lands short. That's going to be plus three, making it 12 to one now. Off 
to the side. Should be able to collect that one. Great job, only collecting his bag. Good left to right movement on that final shot. And the other side, good collect from Matthew. Three points, 12 to four. Almanza regains first throw. It's off to the side a little bit. Might have got a little bit of help there from Ryan. Can Noah bring it back in? Stay sticky side, takes the left away. Slick side into the pile, kind of rolled on him. I don't think there's a situation here where Ryan can only get his to fall. Yeah, one of each goes, and Namaz is in great position. I think he wants to shoot it. Gets permission from Matthew to shoot the air mill. Bag is away, gets the one on the right to go. I think the one on the left is still in great position. And that one off to the side, surprisingly, that Viper R still there on the left side of the hole. But now they're back into it, 12 to eight. See if Matthew stays throwing slick side. Looks like he does in his hand. First bag is down the middle. Nicely done on the edge of the red zone. Good adjustments getting back into this game. Far to the right, but it's on slick side. Let's see if it gets any movement after this bag is thrown from Austin. It's kind of TP'd up right now. It does not move back, so pretty much just go in right here. No need to chase it or go after it. I think a normal shot here from Austin to see. And he misses to the side. That's plus four. We're tied. 12 to 12, round number eight. Almanza with first throw. Hunter Thorne off to the side a little bit. Miranda Coy to my right, cheering on Almanza as well. It's the last pro left alive here in the blind draw. <laughs> Sticky side right into the pile. Airmail time. He's deep. Back block takes away a possible push. Almanz, I think, was already geared up for the airmail land short. Gets them both to fall. Finishes the round with a six, but if Ryan can somehow figure out how to push one of these in. Oh, he decides to go with the airmail. He's off the back. That's a six on three, 15 to 12. That was a difficult push from Ryan, so he elected to go up top for the airmail for the wash. And instead, gives up the three points. Soft release on that slick side. Wasn't able to collect it that way. Oh, 
Lonza telling him to go up for the airmail. He will go up and he will hit it. Finishes the round with an eight. He wanted to push it. Ryan Francis shakes his head and says no. Go up top for the airmail as well. And he's deep. He's going to knock himself off the back. That's going to be a four-point round. And just like that, the score is 19 to 12. Almanza and Hansen holding on with a chance to win it right here in round number 10. Bag number one, level one diamond block, toe in the water. Franson replaces with a push through. Almanza cleans it up on bag number two. Ryan off to the side a little bit, still on the red zone. Will Almanza get the bully and go in? He misses to the right. Oh, that's too far to the left. There's a lane here. Almanza is able to go slick side, puts that bag number four in. Ryan Franson stepping out, has to hit the drag to stay alive. Bag is away, gets a piece, nothing is going to fall. That's going to do it. Championship belongs to Noel Monza and Matthew Hansen. Congratulations, good run there from Austin and Ryan, but Noah and Matthew hang on to take down the championship. That's going to do it here for this live feed chat. We're going to head over to the ESPN2 broadcast area. See you guys tonight for your Super Bowl and your shootout championship. You gone.